Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome back. It's okay, Mall. Back on the stream. If y'all watch this on YouTube, welcome to the channel. Thanks for being here. Uh, on Blaze says hello, first person to chat in this stream. Welcome, welcome. Hello, how you doing? How was your week? Hey, good morning to you. I am a little tired, y'all. I woke up at like 4.30, which is, what, like in two hours before I'm supposed to wake up. So that's fun. I'm a little tired. What am I doing here? I can't remember what we left off at, chat. I remember that we died. We started up the, uh, the axe and shield combo. It looks like I, I rested. Uh, prior to logging off, so I think we're ready to go for our next contract, which is good, but, uh, other than that, <sighs> big old stretch to get the day started, um, we need food, we need food, but uh, I'm away says it was a good week, glad to hear it, mine could have been better, but whatever. Work sucks. What can I say? I I have to eat that. It's gonna take us a minute to wake up, chat. Um. Well, hopefully Soren pops in. He was the one leading me along in this particular build. I know he said full vitality. With um, five points in the axes. I remember correctly. We were doing five in axes. This side in the shields. And then at least these three points here. Which should lead us a couple of points extra. And I was thinking mighty kick and push the falling. We'll see how it goes, though, right? I, I'm like, yeah, we also need some boots. So as soon as we get some pretty good boots, we'll be rolling. Uh, I do want to get some extra experience. Flavius, good morning. As I mentioned to others, um, hopefully you uh, you had a wonderful week this week here. Mine could have been better. By the way, where is the hermit's hut? That's way up there. That's not terrible, really. We could knock out the very first contract here and then maybe head over to the hermit's hut. Just a little, just a little walk. So we don't have a net, which could be a problem. I'll just give it a shot. Give it a shot. I know the madman can be a pain in the butt if you don't net him. Hopefully that's not going to be the case for us because we're just, we're professionals here. We know what we're doing, you know? We'll go with that. No, oh, I was wondering why I was going so slow. We ain't cheating right now. Uh, I did have a wonderful week. I've got a job interview on a job I very much wanted. Let's go. And I got offered the job only three days later, bro. Um, that's awesome. Uh, my wife was looking at a job for it was pretty good. Good, pretty good to pay. It only works two days a week. It made a lot of money in those only in those two days. She worked like twelve hour days, but uh, unfortunately, that did not pan out. Um, which really, really stinks. I, I honestly, they're they're just missing out. 
they chose somebody that probably yeah may have more experience in that position but uh my wife's a hard worker and uh the last place we worked the last factory that we worked at we uh we were quality folks we ran the entire we knew every single op of the lines that we were on because that's you know we were everywhere you know so it's not like we couldn't learn and i know exactly how they operate you know if you're on a cnc machine and they're not hiring for engineers they're hiring for an operator operators just have to know how to put the thing in there how to do the quality check and then if the thing goes down you, you get the freaking engineer that's that's simply the operation okay don't tell me we ain't good enough it's silly but whatever we'll keep trying Cause honestly, like if she got in there, I was going to go for it too. Two days a week. You fucking kidding me, bro. Two days a week at 12 hours, sorry, 24 hours. Two of us would still be more money yearly than what I make by myself. I'm like, I get five days off, <laughs> but whatever. No use crying over spilt milk, right? Should I take these guys out? I mean, I probably could. Yeah, it's number five. One, two. That one. Not bad. Not bad. Pretty good start. But yeah, man, it, it ain't, there ain't nothing like getting started on an area or like getting a job in the area that you really, really want to. That's a good day. That's a good feeling, you know? Holy traps, Batman. That's the boss room already. Well, that was a two shot. Okay, we got we got a rogue and probably another rogue to face because you know the madman. Excuse me, the madman's technically a rogue. This is gonna suck. Oh my god! Back to back trouble here, chat. I have a VV. That's good, but I don't know if that's gonna help us. I gotta take care of the bleed. Oh boy. Fucking dude's hitting like a truck. Where'd the rogue go? Oh, the rogue bled out. What? Okay, we managed it, chat. Holy cow. It's a good thing we uh, took care of that bleed. Could you imagine if we didn't? And then we got uh, that uh, gaping wound. I would have probably been dead. Good stuff, though. We lived. Fantastic. Oh, I just... Oh, I alt-tabbed. Cool. Well, the boss is dead. Just trying to finish this up. That's all we got, dude. We just gotta finish this off. Five. Bam. Oh, man. Bleeding again. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Big man. Dead. Yeah, we, we could really use those boots about now. Like I said, we had to use our VV, but I mean, that's not too bad. Like, we lived. Great. There's been many times where we don't use the VV and we die, and we're like, ah, oh, well, we, you know, whatevs, my bird. 
I have water here too. Just in case we find a match. Come here, bless. Wait for it. Wait, is he? Oh my god, just perfect. I do this. Oh my god, this is gonna hit so hard. What was that, 58 damage or something? You're in pain, bro. Get out of town. Done. Then we have a mass. A massman. And then an axeman. Who saw us. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, you have one of those moves, don't you? Start off with that. What does this do again? Control, move resistance, grants us block recovery. Good stuff. Everybody falls by my blade. Oh, did you get messed up too? Y'all just stepping in traps, just waiting for me. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Dead. Feels good. Feels real good. Little alcohol. Little victory drink after the dungeon's over with. Why not? Freaking exciting stuff. There, so many traps up in here. Y'all be killing yourselves. Oh, there it is. That's what we're, we're afraid of. Okay. Let's rest until he forgets about us. Oh, he did. He more or less forgot about us. Uh, we got the water in case we get caught on fire. Oh, yeah. Bleed. He's taken care of. We got an enchanting scroll. I mean, these rings are not great. Enchant something. Oh, I could enchant my... Yeah. Yeah. Rending resistance. Okay. Or what? Uh, what's this? Apprentice robe. Sells for 78. That's too little. Let's uh finish this brood ma. There's just a head stuck in the wall down here. An axeman. Dead. <laughs> it was great. Let's go this way. We'll get the jump on the enemy. I don't like the rogue though. I don't like the rogue though. Okay, he's in the. I said victory drink, but we're going to use that right now for the pain. It's empty, one crown, and a folio. Then we have this room down. Meow. It also could be empty. What's that? Maces two? Oh, how'd you take this? Cleansing scroll? Get out of here. Cool. One, hopefully. One room left. We'll see. We'll see. Go ahead and read that book. Uh, I still haven't been using. I'm going to use it. It's in my inventory. Okay, it worked really good. Real well. Okay. Glad I switched over. I 
freaking amazing. Best accuracy in the game. What's that? ID scroll? Last room, chat. Last room! Oice! Those crits are solid, bro. Oh, first time chatters. Uh, nice play. Halls fish. Holes fish. Hello, welcome. Welcome to the channel. Glad to have you here. Uh, if you're new to the game, uh, ask us any questions. There's plenty of people in here that know about it as well as me. Akbar, what should I do if the boar is blocking my path through a bridge? Go around it. <laughs> I don't know. What level are you? <laughs> you know what to do. Just don't do what I do and fucking die. <laughs> that one boar kicked my ass. Open for like some boar pelts or something. Pay the toll, I don't know. Kung Fu, what's up? How you been? This is... No! Um, oh, so you must be from YouTube. No, no, no. Uh, that content I put specifically on YouTube. This one here, like, we do completely separate builds when we go live. That way the YouTube stuff is easier for me to edit and put out. Um, no, completely separate. It's similar, don't get me wrong, but this is Velmir. Uh, but this is Axe, Shield, Full Vitality. So, just to kind of lay out the build, uh, this is something that chat voted on. Uh, I think last week, because we died on our previous build. But, um, we do five points here in the Axes. Uh, the main, the, the, we have like 15 points to spend before we hit up the Manticore, so that's kind of how we base our builds on uh, limiting ourselves to 15 skill points. Anything after, right, is just icing on the cake. But uh, we have our four here, and then we have Massacre. And then we're going to be going into this side of the skill tree, right? So it's going to give us a breakthrough, moment of retribution, shield bash, and retaliation. And then we're going to be getting into uh, armored combat. And I believe it was hard target, brace for impact, and unyielding defense. And then after that, we have two skill points left to spend on something. Um, which wasn't a part of the whole plan. So my thought is to go for mighty kick and push the falling. Mainly for the energy restoration, because I think the plan is to grab up a bunch of heavy armor, heavy shields, with full vitality. We're going to have, I don't know, it's just the ultimate tank build, I guess. Holy cow, there's a thing there. Let's just avoid that. But all in all, this is going well. This is going very, very well. I am, uh, I'm excited. Another ID scroll. And I'm going to eat, toss this, move that. There we go. We can now get out of here. This place is uh, explored. Somewhere. Now, do we step out any traps along the way, chat? I don't think so. There's that, but somebody else stepped on it for us. Now we good. We out. Yeah, that, you know, and another thing, like, if I put that content out, either you would see, uh, it's so hard because, like, by the time you guys would watch it, I would have already done it on, uh, on, on stream, and I don't want that. I want everybody to be able to see it as it is, as opposed to, like, 
any, any of my streams that I put on YouTube are always like last week's streams. It's the past, you know. Uh, I just rage quit RimWorld stream. No, Kung Fu, what happened? Two levels. I think I'm going to fight him. Or maybe he has a riddle for me. There you go. It's like the Sphinx, bro. Have you all... Uh, this this will kind of age me a little bit. I, I guess there's there's games out. It's a minute. Have you all played Shadow... Oh, God. What is it called? It's an old Nintendo game. Shadow something. Sha Shadow. Shadow something. Uh... Three of my guys focus focus fire a shotgun to one enemy and plant blink rage all miss twice and we lose two colonists. Sorry for the rat. I really upset. <laughs> that sucks, bro. I don't know anything about the game or what that means. But it sounds like you lost some enemy some uh, some colonists and that's a bad thing, right? <laughs> I'm sorry for it, bro. That sucks. <laughs> How are you gonna miss point blank though? How, how bad your accuracy gotta be? That's silly. Oh god, what is that game? Shadowland? Shadow Shadows Shadows or something? God dang it. I can't I, I gotta look this up. I can't explain what I'm what I'm talking about about the Sphinx until I type this game in. Nintendo game Game Shadow Gate! Shadow Gate! I was Close, so close. I played this game a lot as a kid. Because it was just interesting to go through and you you have to like explore the world and basically use items from your inventory on the uh, locations inside of the world. It's like a, I don't know, a clicker? Uh, how do you, how would you describe a game like this? Uh, it was good, it was fun. There was a section and the reason why I brought it up there's a section where I think you're talking to a sphinx and he gives you these riddles and as a kid I was like oh this is cool what kind of riddles we got and then he would give you a riddle and you're like I don't fucking know but you don't have internet so you can't just cheat and look this stuff up you gotta be like well, of the items that I have in my inventory which one is he talking about and uh, the only one I can really remember right now is um uh, it, it says something about what has like thousands of legs but can't walk or something like that and so forth and so on. It was a broom. I was like, I, I got a broom. Here you go. So that was, you know, as a kid, I was like, this is pretty cool. But it's a fun game, though. Like, you go around, you, you move from one map or like one pre generated little map. You click a door, you'll unlock it. Like you actually have to like say use this or click that or examine this. It's one of those types of games, right? It was good fun though. And then there was a remake of Shadowgate, but more of a 3D for I think the 64. I played that one too. That one wasn't too bad. Different different type of game though. Uh oh, talking to people. Uh, sell, sell. I haven't read this. Um, can I apply? Sure. Sell, 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 sell. I'm gonna sell these off to the priest. Probably eat the cheese. That should be good. And we may as well go find the uh, the herbalist hut now, because we're gonna need more healing supplies. So I'll go work on that next. Uh, that's too much gold. Uh, maybe not. There we go. Okay. So let me let me split my uh, my sack a little bit. Open this one uh, a two uh, a three uh. That's better. Uh, Kung Fu, good, uh, Kung Fu, good colonists or bad ones? Any tips for dual dagger build for Derwin? Um, let me think here. I, I recently did a dual dagger. Hold up, let me save the game. 
So I'm trying to think of like good tips for you. <laughs> Give me a ride to Osbrook. I'm gonna rest up to save the game. We haven't saved it yet. I'll tell you one thing that I was struggling with. Even though I was uh, going through the game without permadeath. And I didn't care if I died. So I was going in there just like, yeah, it doesn't matter. I would still die like multiple times in undead dungeons. It was uh, absolutely silly. Load game. I think it's this one. Yeah, this is the non permadeath one. Um, oh, the the one the only the only issue I really really had was on dead dungeons. Uh, in this particular case and in instance, I went for full agility. Uh, but yeah, I found a lot of uh a lot of issues fighting those those shields uh shield skeletons, or just any armored skeleton in general, mainly because I didn't have like any hardly any armor pin at the time. But now he's doing pretty good. I don't think anything can really stand in this guy's way. But he is level 20, so it kind of makes sense. Uh, in my case, I went for full agility. And I think that's not a, necessarily a bad way to do it. Maybe a split between agility perception. I don't think strength is the really the way to go. Typically. Because we already have a low base damage. So the multiplier... By getting more uh, weapon damage, is it probably ideal? But maybe like agility perception when you're doing do it will. Because extra crit is always nice to have, especially once you get like yourself a miser cord. Crits is where it's at. If I was critting those skeletons, it's good. The moment I'm not though, I'm like, God damn, this is just duh. horrible. You're doing like, I don't know, five to ten damage, and it's not not good at all. Otherwise, though, um, depending on how you build it, this in this instance, this is just a weird, wacky build. So you can't use this as a baseline for how you build it. I only went in for dual wield training. That way, anytime we use attack skills, we gain more crits and less fumble for three turns. Uh, sacks twice. That means 10% crit and negative 10 fumble. But it doesn't really matter because I stacked all agility. And going full agility, I've got um Where is it? Where the hell am I? I've got very little fumble right now. 2.9 and 4.1. So the, the moment I use one skill, it's it's fine. Um so yeah, I mean otherwise, like you might want to go a little bit deeper into dual wielding. In my case, I just I spread my stuff around a little bit. Because I knew I was going to go all the way to level 20 before I'm doing anything dangerous. Right? Went for elusiveness. So I think elusiveness is super strong. Seize the initiative and some opportune moment. Because we counter... In this particular case, I counter attack so much. So having a little extra energy gain from opportune moment was a lovely thing. I picked up two points in adaptability. Uh, just because I wanted ever vigilant to decrease enemy accuracy and half their crisp chance. Also, here's my dodge. Oh, it's just, oh, I don't really have many tips. It's so hard to give you guys tips because like certain builds, I mean, there's multiple ways to branch out and do every single build that I never pinpoint the best way to do something. I get that question a lot. I'm like, oh, <sighs> throw it to the wall, see if it sticks. Um, but yeah, I mean, otherwise, this is the accuracy on this build. That's one thing I think I struggled on was accuracy. But realistically, it didn't really matter because I put some points into perception here. Um, I would say 20, 15, or one of those. Either 15 agility, 20 perception, or 20 agility, 15 perception should get you to the Manticore just fine. Uh, with one ring, and you should have a fairly decent amount of accuracy with a decent amount of crit chance. Uh, crit efficiency would be lovely to have too. So maybe even swap this belt out if you're going crit chance. Swapping a belt out for the crit chance belt that you get from um, from Ormi give you a little bit more crit efficiency. Because uh, like I said, crit chance with uh, daggers is just 
overly strong. It's 50% crit efficiency whenever you crit, plus the crit efficiency that you already gain from your weapons and just from naturally having crit efficiency. So I guess maybe, yeah, strength can be working pretty good if you can uh, get it at the level 15 or 20, because that's more crit efficiency. Ow! There's, again, so many ways to do this. But again, for mine, it was 95, 22, 33. I know I'm running in my mouth and I haven't read chat yet, so... Um, crit chances, uh, sorry, counter is 57 on this build. And what else did I have? That was crazy. 90 no, yeah, dodge chance, 90%. Even with 90% dodge chance, bro, I get the sucker up to 100% with elusiveness over 100% with elusiveness. You still take hits, which is stupid. Like, I get that there's going to be a, uh, some sort of like, hey, if they got 90% accuracy and you've got a hundred and something percent chance to dodge, there's going to be a percentage loss there, some shit. I know there's some coefficient that you got to put in place that say you're not going to fully dodge this block because there there's still a chance that they can still hit you. I don't know, whatever. But it's still silly. At any rate, 90%, that shit gets over 100% once you pop elusiveness. And, uh... The other cool thing about what I was doing here was swapping weapons. I got a Rondell with a vigorous uh, buckler. And my accuracy stays the same, but my counter chance goes up to 100%. And if I switch back to the Miser Cord build, I got 82% chance to counter. Uh, but otherwise, I don't know. It's just, it's just what it is. Let's get back to the business here. And then I'll read chat. I hit the same, hey, continue, because why wouldn't I try to load a game up? <laughs> uh, what was that? Good, of course. It's been a while, but when I have to rage quit, <laughs> gonna start over again. Which storyteller are you playing on? Randy losing is fun, people said. The Revenant is the guy who ripped my colony, by the way. The new DLC is stupidly hard. I didn't play the new DLC, but I will try it sometimes later. I recommend it. It's unlike any other DLC. It's just hard and not reward. It does not reward you at all. If you like pain and suffering and a little bit of a, a CP, buy it. Every worth every penny. I tell you, fumble of 100 damage is still 50. Yeah, exactly. Fumble of 100 is still 50. Yes, and no crit and no. Um, because I don't think you can crit on fumbled. I think, right? I loaded the wrong character anyway. May as well look. Uh, fumble? Uh, fumbling attack or shot. You have zero stun, zero days, knockback, immobilization, and stagger. Oh, it doesn't, doesn't change your crit. It's still, you can still crit on a fumble, I'm thinking. I, I assumed that you could. Alright, let me try to load the game, the right game up this time. Load, oh, don't delete it, please. Load it. Alright, back on to business. We gotta go find, again, the, um... Herbalist hut. But I don't know, it's so... I think, again, some of the strongest things with... Uh... With dual daggers is gonna be your crit. I say counter's good too, but I think crit's really where it's at. So long as you're not overly stacking crit and losing out on your accuracy and your, your fumble, then you'll be fine. Oh, there's so many good ways to do it. Because now that I'm thinking about it, what if you got your crit efficiency all the way up there and you had just enough crit chance where that crit efficiency multiplier is 100% plus the additional 50% you get just by using daggers. 150% crit efficiency on those weapons? That'd be insane. Maybe one of these days we try a... Uh, maybe a right on target strength... dagger build and then just figure out the accuracy and the fumble later throw on uh army's rings army's necklace try to get the respect in Bryn grab up a diamond ring which gives you like crit chance and energy without any negative uh, damage multipliers on you that'd be cool 
That'd be really neat. All right, chat. Just do that for me. Get to build it on it. Do a strength right on target dagger. Tell me how it goes. All right, we're now at the uh, the hermit's hut. I mentioned this before. Oh God, that's, he's down us. He's down below us. Okay. But I meant, I, was just, I was just about to say I've mentioned this before, but I've had bad luck at the hermit's hut being surrounded by wolves and, and boar. Luckily for us, the boar was just south of us, and he wasn't pissed off, so that's good. We made it, chat. Corpse. Loot, loot, loot. Old Remedy Buck, Reed. And now we can get out of here. Let's go this way. Oh, speak of the devil. There's another one. I just want to go home. Is it okay if I go home, please? I was not ready for this. Uh, later today, I gotta get started on my new build for YouTube. Because the previous build died again. I would like to say it wasn't my fault. The dungeon did upgrade on me. Uh, a Bryn dungeon, that is. Completely upgraded on me. And, uh... I ended up facing a tier 4 boss instead of a tier 3 boss. Which was not fun at all. We are only like a level away. I, I believe only one level away from facing the Manticore. I could be wrong. I gotta double check this. I usually just struggle between uh, Hermit's Huts. So many wolves along the way, right? It's hence why I typically go along the edges. The edges of the map tiles are the safest route. If you're cutting through the center, you've got a higher chance of screwing yourself over. And I like to play it kind of safe most of the time. Uh, sanity. I'm going to pull something up here. Pause. So lower that down. I was in Bryn. What level was I? I was level 11. Was I really? I'm pretty sure the dungeon upgraded. Yeah, I was level... Sorry, 11, technically 12, because I leveled up a little bit. And I had to... Already... Face tier 4 enemies, bro. I don't even have good gear. I am rocking. Oh, I guess I technically did get to Amity level. So I got fancy boots. But I couldn't get anything to replace my chest plate. So that still sucks. Level 12 at tier 4, and I, I wasn't really ex expecting tier 4, so I, I barely brought any traps. Because I was like, oh, it's going to be like a mage. I got this shit. It's good. It wasn't a mage. It was a two-handed sword uh, undead boss. You guys know those ones are a fucking pain in the ass. Maybe you don't. Maybe you don't. I'm going to tell you right now. If you face a two-handed sword ghost, they're a pain in the ass, okay? They got freaking... You almost need Seal of Cleansing to help you out because they have Seal of Reflection. On top of they have um, Parry. So if they pop both of those skills together, you're probably going to be dead within a matter of a couple of turns. Um, so when he popped Seal of Reflection, I ran away. And then once he was done with that, I started to engage again. And of course, a couple of hits from him, and I'm like... I'm, uh... Damn near damaged, you know, beyond repair. It was just ridiculous! It was stupid. Like I said, that build died, and it didn't even have to. The game wouldn't have just screwed me over. Uh, the Zero Sanity build died? Yeah. It died. Like I said, man, um... <clears throat> well, can I show this? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get online. If, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys know just how dumb this is. If you haven't already faced one of these... No, Stone Shirt, stupid. Why, 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 why? 
stone shard. Um, enemies. Where is it at? Where is it at? Scrolling down. Where is it at? This guy, the Revenant Commander. Okay. Let me share my screen. Um, da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Display capture. Is that working? Why does that not work? Oh, right. I see. Settings. That's kind of better, but then I lowered everything down because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Mm -hmm. All right, so you guys should be able to see this now. So, what the hell? Go away. This, this is so. This is this is the Revenant Commander. This guy right here, like, it's pretty dope, right? The dude's level twenty. Hell, I'm level fucking ten. No, eleven, twelve, whatever. Fighting him. So we got Perry. Hewing strikes, seal of reflection, against the odds, desecration, curse of decay, death's touch. Not this time and fight to the death. Like, like these three sword skills alone are a pain in the ass. Okay. And again, once he pops seal of reflection, you're killing yourself. Because I already hit like a truck, because I was using two handed ax or uh, uh one handed axes. Uh, I think I had an elder and axe at the time. But yeah, still a reflection. I ran away for eight time, uh, for eight turns. And while running away, he also blasts you with desecration and death's touch. So you take damage by running away from him. But I can't stand toe to toe to him either, right? So I had to run away. So I'm taking all this damage from these two skills. Plus Curse of Decay is decaying me. And he has more uh, more mana than he needs. That 150 energy is ridiculous. Plus, he has plenty of energy restoration. So while I'm running away, he's popping me with these three. And by the time Sealer Reflection is done, I get into there to engage in the combat. Of course, then he healing strikes you, which probably made me bleed or damaged my hands for something. And then he pops parry, and then you're like, well, shit, let me run away for two more tiles, because I don't want to kill myself with you killing me with parry. And then you go back in, and then by that time, it seems like uh, Seal of Reflection is ready to go again. I don't know, and then you fucking, you're dead. It's so stupid. It was the worst. Absolutely silly. It was upsetting. It was The run was going very well. But I was going to be building for uh, medium armor, and I just didn't have a medium armor chest plate. Well, not all medium armor, just like certain pieces. I was kind of like hodgepodging everything together based on what I needed. And I needed like fumble reduction, a um, little bit of accuracy, whatever the hell else I needed. So it just, it just, it ended up very badly. I'm a Pyromancer build, Proselyte tier three, upgraded to tier four, one dungeon from Amity. Oh yeah. Yeah. The Proselyte ones are pretty tough too when they upgrade. Facing uh, Merc Stalkers and, what's the other guy's name? The giant one with the wings. Uh, I can't remember the name right now. Back to business. Have a chat. We have an encampment. Ugh. You know, I'm going to blame this on one YouTube viewer who literally put in the comments like last month. They said, do you never die? When he was referring to my YouTube videos, how they were having so much success. And I was like, I don't know, man. Like, I've been really cautious lately. I don't know. Like, I, I want my YouTube videos to finish a complete run. I don't want them to die early. Ever since that guy said that, the Pyromancer died. Like, four episodes in or something. It was maybe five or six. But it doesn't matter. I'm going to call it four. He died. I started a brand new run that went really well. I got an occult cloak on like episode one or two. And I'm like, this is amazing. Let's go. This run is fucking fantastic. Then he died to a boar because I'm stupid. And then I get the sanity run. That's going well. And then he dies. And I'm like, man, eh, this is just somebody had to open their mouth and tell me that I never die. And then I, I, sh I sure as hell proved them wrong. So, yeah. It was all their fault. <laughs> I don't remember who the commenter was, but goodness. If you're watching this right now, you know it was your fault. 
Uh, yeah, that's insane. Aqual, do you know how to beat the peasants in Osbrook without losing any reputation? What are you talking about, beat a peasant? No, I don't. I don't even know what you're talking about. What peasant? Oh, I gotta... That's, don't eat that. You know, I, I move my money around to never drop this. I don't know where we're going next, chap. I'm gonna grab some food. He might be talking about the brewery. Oh, those ones? Maybe. We'll find out. We can speculate all we want, but... On my way, might be like, no, 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 no. There's a, there's a random peasant strewn around the map somewhere, and you kill him. Uh, I need to identify this staff so we can sell it off. Buy some healing supplies. A couple ID scrolls later. Use one of those, please. Energy drain and magical power. Not terrible. Um, that's it. Talk to you about the book we found. Talk to him again about the herbalist that we found also who was dead I had tried that one like thing that I'm pretty sure got patched out I don't know I never really attempted it except for once and then Varen got pissed off at me uh where you complete the brewery mission go back kill everybody inside of the brewery but 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 it didn't work the way it was supposed to because everybody in the brewery by that point in time were like in favor of me so they didn't die die they just passed out and then by the time i uh got with varen and came back varen decided that i was uh not the right person for the job and decided to kill me so that was the thing if you have the hap if you have the hapless peasant quest in the dungeon you can beat the peasant without losing reputation in the dungeon oh oh okay that would make kind of i guess that makes kind of a uh, sense because yeah does he, he doesn't die die though, right? I don't think any NPC in this game die dies. They're not dead dead, you know what I'm saying? Alright, let's reorganize. Again, we gotta drop this off. That's plenty of healing. Got a couple lockpicks there. Got some uh, bandages. I got this cloak. Uh, That's way too many pain meds. Gonna offload a couple of those. And then we got this, this backpack that I will probably forget to take off. Like, it's an ongoing joke by now. 17 of those? I'm gonna just ah, sell it, reload it. I got my crossbow. Where are we going? Uh, contracts? Ominous ruins? Where the hell is this at? Why is it so far away? What are you doing with your life? Shit, I ain't never, not even once, had a dungeon spawn south of Manshire. What is going on here? Ah, that's weird. Uh, uh. No, just in a coma. That makes sense. He probably just uh, confused you for a bandit. That's why he doesn't tell uh, tell on you. Were you just feeling spicy one day and decided to beat up the hapless peasant? Like, how dare you inconvenience me? Like, ah, oh, shit. I meant to drop this chat. Oh well. But like, is that what it was? Like you inconvenienced me. I had to come and rescue you. How dare you? He will not attack you. Does he run away or does he just stand there and take it? All right. We have a crossbow. We got to find out what we're facing. This is a human donjon. The Black Abbey. Wait, no, it's not. I'm sorry. This is the. <laughs> I already cleared out the humans. Proselytes. That's what that is. Soren, good day to ye. Good. Oh, crap. Wrong thing. 
I'm gonna also chuck this just in case I need it. I probably will. I have 1600 crowns on me right now. There we go. Bookcases. Ah, another VB. I'll probably need that. Alright, what do we get? Read. Read. Oh, we've dingled. We've dingled. We've dangled. We've got more vitality. More health. Uh, what's next? We don't have armored combat unlocked. So I'm guessing we're going into shields. Get a moment of retribution. Can't unlock that until we buy the book for it. So we have to get back to town and purchase Warfare Treaties 1. Hello, bad guy. Did he just counterattack me? It would help if I use Massacre. I'll remember next time. Oh, it's those dang boots. They're getting the better of me again. I need better boots, Chet. Oh my god, this guy's gonna suck. Ugh. I really hate these guys. I don't want to waste this just yet. Ugh. Okay, well, okay, he's dead. Okay. That wasn't that scary. I swear, the more health you have, it doesn't seem to matter much because it, like, it seems like you take more damage regardless. Like, oh, you got more health? Well, you can take more damage. And the same, it's like equal to the amount of percentage of... I don't know. What I'm trying to say here. Grab that. Empty. Uh, he was blocking the path to the exit. That's, that's how I seen that he was. He was just. Oh, I got you. <laughs> he couldn't get out the dungeon. That's funny. He's like, I'm just trying to leave. Unidentified potions. Um, let me see. Oh, that's the boss room. We'll come back later. Oh, fancy. Ah, uh, shouldn't have ran. Fuck. Don't do it again. Mother trucker, stop. I fucking hate my life. Oh, good, he switched places. That's fantastic. Okay, that was harder than I wanted it to be. But not so hard that I couldn't handle it. What's going on here? He's blocking the path to the exit. TM Tony, what's up? I guess some abilities have a percent damage overall. Body part damage reduces uh, max body part percentage too. Still upping max HP is powerful, I think. Uh, hey yo, my first troll kill the other day with a staff battle mage? Dude, yeah, that's the way to go. Did you rack up that battle? Uh, that, that, uh, what do you call it? The backfire damage? To do even more damage to the troll? That's where it's at. I don't know, it's just always been like, I know it's probably more of a, per, like, it, it, you, you, the perception of it seems like you still take a lot of damage, even though um, you have more health, so you should be able to take technically more hits. And I get that, yes, body part damage will decrease this. Um, 
it, it, it'll look like it takes your maximum health down even further because again like you said it's percent based so if you have like two percent on your head or whatever it's gonna take your health down x amount like five percent five percent of 120 is more than five percent of just a base hundred and that's where like if you have a lot of health i think having this one sorry yeah this one here would help out to decrease that modifier so it's not uh, taking so much hp away based on your potty part health uh oh wow i don't have to buy the book now chat you're freaking welcome right oh, that's warfare that's the wrong book never mind chat we still gotta buy the book i mistakenly mistaken that for the wrong book oh oh Chat. <laughs> what do I do? I got two VVs and an unidentified potion. My last devil, bro. I don't know about y'all, but the best part is um, Varen's Uber service. That's the best part, bro. I was wondering what they were gonna do. To be honest, like I didn't want to have to, because I thought you had to explore the map. Right, which yes, you do have to explore the map before you can say, "Hey, come here and place your caravan down." But my worry was that you have to explore it, walk all the way back to Varen, and say, "Hey, Varen, come on down. You're the next up on the Price Is Right." But now all we gotta do is send out a carrier pigeon. Show up here, Varen. So anytime you want to journey somewhere, I'm guessing you just have to have enough inventory space for your carrier pigeon. Go explore where you gotta find out where to be, right? So if you're going for some dungeons, carry your pigeon it out and uh, set up camp and then start knocking out some dungeons. Preferably like right in between multiple tier fours to get as much uh, gaming time out of there as possible. So this sucks, I'm not gonna lie. This is just awful. Uh, I do have VVs. Uh, hopefully that's enough to keep me alive and healing supplies, but we'll see what happens. This is gonna be bad. Once they all see me. Yep. I don't know who's first. But uh, I'm scared for my life. My accuracy is sitting at 82. That's not high at all. And if I drink this alcohol, it's gonna be even less. So. Fart six. I don't know what to do here. It's gonna be the boss first. Which I guess is good. Okay, they use Lacerate. It did not make us bleed. I guess we can use, uh, use that. She deflected. Um, I don't want to attack because deflect will um, it'll help reduce school uh, skill cooldowns. Um, reduce the skill cooldowns by one for each missing 25% health. Def while deflect is active, each block strike replenishes maximum block power. I don't want her to block, so I'm just gonna skip a turn. She's not injured yet. Still not injured. I don't know how we're dodging everything, but I'm okay with it. All right, now she's going to sit there. She is injured, but we're in a predicament still because now we got to fight this hard guy. Still doing OK. I may as well. Still doing good. Oh, she swapped places again. How dare you? I could go ahead and use this, but I mean, we're still doing okay. Let's try to just do body part damage. 8%? Bruh. We did it. Chat, we got this. I told you we had it the whole dang time. If you didn't believe me, that's uh, that's all on you. 
Fantastic. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, eat a fish. And... Uh, drop that. Reorganize. Drop something else. That's it. That's all she wrote. All done. Taken care of. Solid. Very small dungeon. I need the potion? Oh. Well, yeah. And I need my backpack. So I guess I guess technically can't carry more. So give me a second. I was like, I don't need an ID potion, do I? Apparently I did. Where's that ID potion? It was poison! I could have used it! Does it still poison the enemies by throwing it at them? Or does it like... You have to drink it. Got an apple. Okay, let's get out of here. Alright, not too shabby. That was pretty smooth. Uh, let's see. Other than the fact that it doesn't mention release. I know! The, <laughs> the other thing that it mentions, though... Because, like, I was like, oh, man, if they're, gonna, if, they're, if they're finally done with this one, there's only a couple more devlogs left. But then they're like, we have a new devlog in the works. I'm like, stop it. What do you guys mean there's another devlog? Stop. Like, we had the caravan devlog, and I'd have to go through my videos, but there was another devlog that was, like, part one. I think it was, uh, oh yeah, it was Dungeons, right? Dungeon Generation Part 1? So we have that, uh, who knows how many Dungeon Generation parts there are to that devlog. Um, because I was trying to base it based on, uh, ba the release date, trying to base it on how many devlog, have they completed a devlog? Have they? And if they have, then I could be like, alright, maybe, maybe we're like a month away, maybe a couple of weeks. But no, they're like, we got it. We got another one, another devlog in the works. <laughs> so silly, stop. It's too much. I just want to play the update. But I mean, if they have another devlog, the fact once this update launches, I don't think any of us are really going to be able to recognize this game anymore. It's going to be completely new. New and old players alike will be like, okay. This is cool. Feels fresh. They have to rebalance enemies. Dungeons are gonna look better. Plus, dungeons are gonna have those modifiers to them where you have to, like, where you could potentially get locked inside of the dungeon, have to find a freaking lever to pull it so you can escape said dungeon. It's gonna suck for us permadeath characters if we run into a bad situation. Um, the the miasma modifier, not mod mod modifier. But I, that's only for the undead, though, I think. I don't know if there's going to be, like, miasma inside of, like, maybe in the proselytes, but I can't imagine miasma being inside of human dungeons. But still! Good stuff. Uh, Pigeon seems great. Yeah, also banners. I think they're neat. Yeah, I'm sure, you know, it's going to be another thing that we can go around and collect. This will be interesting. Flamius, we managed. We managed. Uh, she's staggered, though, so reduced block chance by 50%. Turn off the dodge mod? Bro, I don't even know. I don't even know. Uh, I was messing around with backfire damage and found out that I can just keep it at 190% if I move one tile, but moving more than one and you will always lose the same amount of backfire damage. It's weird. Um, they'll show you the devlog of the new update enough for Stone Shard 2 feels bad. <laughs> it's been half a year already. Since they announced the rags, ragged to rich, I, I think it's been more than that, hasn't it? I think right around April of last year they had uh, mentioned something like that. It was shortly after I started streaming that they said something about rags to riches. So uh, streaming this game in particular, that is. So I think it's been more than that. They had mentioned rags to riches and backpacks and shit like that, right? And then it was. 
they released a few things that they could release since that wasn't like a major development that required, you know, a whole lot of changes that required the Rags of Riches update. Hence why we got um, Equipment 3 and another update that changed something that I can't remember what it was. Minor stuff. Oh, we're getting raided. Ah, uh, this is a person I've ever heard of. Yo, what's up, Raiders? How y'all doing? Fold up Gorilla? Coming in with a hot seven? Welcome, Raiders. Welcome. Hey, Akmal, what's up, Abaddon? How you been? How you doing? Uh, well, what were you guys playing? Were you doing some stone shard as well? Doing a little sharding? Uh, back to, um, uh, Benzaman. One thing, Benzaman, about that, keeping your backfire chance 190, it's not just one tile, right? If you move a string of tiles, right so one thing i've noticed instead of just moving one tile right if you move like this versus multiple tiles like that but if you move like all in one your backfire doesn't necessarily decrease waiting in place will decrease it and i think using any attack that you stand in place so if you use like an ability and you attack something it'll decrease your backfire chance or backfire damage so either way, it's one of those, but that's why whenever I'm doing my battle mage, I like to uh, get it all racked up and try to not stand still as much as possible. Hence why you have to kind of use your magic in between attack skills just to make sure you maintain that level of uh, backfire chance or backfire damage. But otherwise, yeah, if you just move the whole dungeon like this and then fire a spell, move like this and fire a spell, it's... I don't know, easier to maintain, I guess. They'll show you the devlog before that. Ha uh, it's been a half a year. Uh, what up, fold up gorilla? You doing some stone shard? Durin, Derwin, Mace, right on target boat hybrid? I like it. Sounds good already. Uh, I think that update will will uh, come soon, and the dungeon update will be next. Welcome, fellow sharders. Yes. Uh, yeah, some... Uh, yeah, same. I rack it up and move one tile at a time, then kill the whole dungeon first, and then loot. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's the way to do it, man. It's... The Battle Mage one always feels like it's the it's a build that you have to be fast on. You never want to sit around and heal unless you absolutely have to. Uh, typically, I like to make sure the Battle Mage especially likes to have life drain and a little bit of energy drain because not all the times can you rely on your crits to do the energy drain for you since sometimes it bugs out and i'm sure you've noticed that if you uh crit with a staff sometimes you look over and your energy stays in place and doesn't move and you're like well that's it's supposed to work um but yeah a little bit of energy drain a little bit of like a life drain and you should be able to maintain keeping that up with never having to stop and rest up outside of uh, healing up with some healing salves to keep your body part functioning well but otherwise yeah um, I'm gonna rest up here, chat. Oh, and for the Raiders, real quick, I gotta let y'all know what we're doing. Let me rest up and get a good start for the next day. Uh, we're doing Axe, Shield, and Armored Combat with full vitality is what our current build is. Um, what, isn't the dungeon update supposed to be part of the, yeah, it is. It's all, it's all part of the same thing. It's all part of the same thing, as far as I can tell. Unless they change things up on us. I uh, found a really good flail in Bryn, so it's pretty sick. I uh, never really messed with mage too much. Bro, the, the flails and yeah. Flails are dope. They they hit really hard. They have a lot of fumble you have to kind of like work around, but otherwise male, uh, maces are dope and flails as well. Uh, I haven't noticed it yet. Uh, now I'm preparing for the manticore. Bro, so long as you don't like stand toe to toe to the manticore and be overconfident like I tend to be, you'll you'll destroy the manticore. Easy peasy, bro. Absolutely fun. Uh, staffs are fun. Shame about the nerfs though. Even with those nerfs, bro, it's still sick. Staffs are insane. Absolutely insane. Um, we've done a staff build without using magic and just using athletics, and it worked really really well. I died due to me being overconfident in like a uh, 
A Manshire dungeon. I already cleared out three Bryn dungeons or some shit like that. Hopped back over to Manshire because I was going to reset the dungeons down in uh, in Bryn and died to a uh, the uh, brood mother, whatever the hell her name is, the matriarch. Because she bled me and I was like, well, I fucked up because I didn't bring any healing supplies because I'm so strong. Why would I need that stuff? You know? But then I died and I was like, well, that was the saddest damn thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Overconfident. Uh, but no, otherwise, yeah, stabs are dope, man. Stabs are really good. Um, where is stabs at? Right here. I mean, look, even without battle trance, right? Like, if you're using utilizing battle trance for the whole backfire damage and weapon per percentage and all that craziness, um, just by getting triumph, you kill more enemies, it's more crit chance, more miracle chance. Stacks three freaking times and lasts for ten turns. You've got step aside, you've got, which is amazing, three tile charge attack, which attacks everybody around the area where you charge to. You've got hail of blows, which hits three times. You've got destabilizing hitch, which, de which increases damage of the enemies takes, stacks three times, again, so long as you're staggering and knocking back. You got the now or never, so full, of, so if you're blocking or or dodging, you're gonna get more counter chance. And if you're using spells, you're gonna gain more dodge and more block chance. It's just, just everything works well together. If you got this, you're taking less damage, got more counter chance, more block chance, which then works well with this one to proc this more often. It's so fucking great. It's good stuff. It really is. So, I don't know. Sav's like, there's so much synergy with them. And I don't know, there's just, this is really exciting stuff. Uh, I would like it loosened at first, but I haven't gotten Athletics 3 book. Oh, no. How are the unlocks going for full vitality? Um, So far, so good. So, for instance, I wouldn't have been able to get, I think, this one here had I not found the book for it. Otherwise, I was going to buy the book for it. No big deal. That's just a little extra cash I have to spend. So, the skills that we're looking to get just so happen to be skills that are only on um, the first and second tiers. So it's easily enough I can go and I can purchase the books for them if we don't find them first. Uh, we did get lucky and find Axe's 2 book, which got us Massacre without having to pay for it. Shields, I can't unlock this one because it's strength and agility. So I got to go buy the book for it. But otherwise, um, just to kind of break the build down real quick. This is all we're going to do for Axe's at the moment. This is going to get you to the Manticore fight, the top row in Massacre. Underneath shields, we're going to go for, again, this side, which is Breakthrough, Moment of Retribution, Shield Bash, and Retaliation. Underneath Armored Combat, again, I got to buy the book for it, but uh, Brace for Impact, Hard Target, and Unyielding Defense. And we should have two skill points left. And I don't know, personally, I'm just thinking we go for like Mighty Kick and push the falling uh, just in case we need more maximum energy because we plan on going heavy armor and a heavy shield with our axe here so hopefully all that will uh, all that will work well together yeah this is gonna spoil I'm just gonna sell it off I'm gonna read more chat here in just a moment let me dip out of here uh I'm prepared for the Manticore, but if I were the devs, that's how I would do it. That was a fun shame. Uh, now I'm prepared for the Manticore. Yeah, yeah, I read of that. Uh, how's unlock so with full vites? Not bad. So I would like to loosen this first, but I haven't got a last legs free. And my job today was getting a uh, fold of gorilla behind my sword and dagger electro build. Okay. Is, is that is that coming up after their fold up gorilla? Is that the build You're gonna follow with the Abaddon's build? I had a great I had a good staff build with Derwin once cleared the in, in clear the manticore. There you go Bandages are usually nice to have. Oh always always never you, <laughs> you never know the devs just seem too uh, The devs just seemed to gear it's to mages is all still good overall Tried Staff Jorgrim once. The Staff Jorgrim's fun, dude. It does take some getting used to uh, some, some setup, obviously. Because he doesn't start off with magic. He doesn't start off with staff skills. So you realistically have to do what I did. 
and uh, make your way all the way over to Manshire to purchase the stabs and at least one magic book to kind of get you going so you're not completely dead in the water. Uh, the downside is that stabs are rare and don't really show up until Bryn rep. Lots of, uh, lots of go forward on staff. Uh, the book RNG. I hate the book RNG, bro. But I think my gear would be good enough. Lots of health, at least, with full vitality and energy. Yeah, so even when we're going heavy, we should be able to offset that a wee bit. Uh, he's trying to get me to... He's trying to get me to slot it into the mace build currently. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I gotta get the uh, the trading using uh, Rush Manshire. Yeah, you really do. You really do. And if you if you're like me and you know where to go, you just take a trip. Uh, usually, if I'm if I'm if I'm Yorgrim and we're doing the Battle Mage, I'll take a trip. We'll visit the uh, Defiled Monastery, get a free necklace. Though we don't really need it because I mean Yorgrim already starts off with a pretty strong neck piece anyway. But we'll grab it anyway, you know, along the way. Try to loot as many places as possible before I get here. So that way, by the time I get to Manshire, I have enough money for the staves, uh, training from the priest, and the uh, one Electro book. Because I like to go with Electro when I use staves. It's just easy enough to rack up backfire chance, or backfire damage with that. Um, outside of that, what are we doing? Claiming my reward? 560, and we have now the Return of the Necromancer quest. I gotta drop my books off, chat. Uh, let's sell everything. I have not done that yet. Sell, 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 sell. Then we're gonna offload those the books and offload my money. What's in here? All right. I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna keep that one. I'm gonna offload, offload. I'll keep the alcohol, sell, and drop that. Drop this. Sell. I dropped it again because I hit the wrong button. Sell. I don't want the potion one. I'm gonna sell that too. Grab some healing supplies. At least they have a trainer now, so book RG isn't so bad. But uh, only up to... It still sucks with the book RG because... Uh, the only thing that you can purchase, especially at tier 3, because right now we can learn everything at 1 and 2. All skills you can learn the first and the second tiers of between Manshire uh, and Bryn. You, we can buy the books for it. But the only other place to buy tier 3 books, and it's only for spells is the Rotten Willow. That's it. So uh, there's been some occasions where I needed the tier 3 books for a certain melee build, and you just can't get it, because you're you're going different uh, stat points that will not unlock that tier 3 skill that you want, and you're just waiting for that RNG, which sucks. Uh, I'm using the Venomancer staff. And enchanted it with life trade, so it's like 30% life trade, bro. Let's go. Um, a little sightseeing tour. Yeah, he did rob a little sightseeing. He did uh he did not say use it with the maze in your run, just that you would get it if you do. Okay, okay, got you. True enough. But the first level beyond that is rough. Uh yeah, level 17 and not found electric three, yeah. Uh, level 17 and not found. Uh, athletics 3. Kind of sucks. You're not wrong, man. Not wrong. Fucking RNG's bad. So I think they did mention something about a, um, addressing that issue in some of like the later like update. I don't know if it's going to be for rags and riches, but they, they kind of said, hey, yeah, we understand. There's something along the lines of uh, we understand that getting these, uh, these books can be a bit of a chore if you're waiting on RNG. Uh, so I don't know if that means they're going to adjust and make like tier three books available somewhere, whether it's 4,000 gold, whatever the case is, just make it available to us. That's all we're asking. Uh, Chad, that should be good. Okay, I got cheese and cheese. This cheese is going to be spoiled and eat it. 
I'll probably get another block of cheese, though. Drop the book off. And then sell this off. And then we should be good. I don't think we took very much damage on our armor. Sell that for 80. Uh, a little bit. I'll repair it just in case. Undead typically do more armor damage to us. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He's got the boots, chat. We've done it. It's plenty of cash. I've been waiting on these boots for a while. That's it. That's all we gotta do. Merge my purse. Offload my purse. Now we have to head. Why is everything so far away? <laughs> You got this far away, you got that far away, the humans are far away. They just want me to walk everywhere. So sad. Uh, better book access and a fast travel point uh, southwest of Brid. Well, the, the, the fast travel points won't have to... Well, maybe we will. Maybe we will, though. i seen, like, two new locations. It's very, very possible those two new locations will be fast travel points. But, I mean, we already have Varen as our Uber driver. So we can always move him right to where we need it to be. And uh, use him as like a fast travel point, I think. Well, no. Because you can't... You can't hop on his... Maybe you can. Oh, that's all speculation. We don't know if we can use him as like a, a driver or more like a, a resting point. I mean, either way. Either way. Kind of sucks. Uh, just do the Brid Dungeons and get lucky. Uh, just be lucky. I always try. I always find uh, tier 3 books. Not the normal one. I, I normally want, but well, yeah. Um, that's what I've been doing, except for getting the lucky part. The lucky part's always the shitty. The the The... The RNG one. Like, you can find the books. Proselyte Dungeons, you can usually find plenty of books in there. Are they for your build? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not, though. Maybe not. Highly likely they're not for your build. It never works that way. Uh, tier 3 in, in Brynn and Amity. Easy fix. That would be an easy fix. Yeah. I mean, everything else unlocks in Amity. May as well unlock the books, too. I'd be fine with that. That'd be... The quickest way to do it. Instead of making a brand new like uh, seller uh, who sells specifically those books, just unlock it at Amity. Can't really update any time. Might as well tra uh, fast travel to uh, Throat Willow. The Salt Coast uh, Prey? Prage? What does that mean? Uh, in theory, yeah, but they said uh, um, Old Tot was still an option still. Plus, he's going to be more expensive! Uh, well, you can uh, call him with the bird, I guess. Yeah. But at that point, it's it's only calling him with the bird. Can we use him to travel from then on up? That'd be the real question. Easy, easy, easy. Just upgrade their current books. Books, oh yeah, that's a, not not a half bad idea. Fizzy, what's up, my guy? How's life been treating you, man? You pop in here once every three months. <laughs> How you been? How's adult life treating you, bro? Uh, depends on his cooldown. That's another thing, but we can also reduce cooldowns by upgrading it. So I, I guess it all depends on uh, what upgrade level it is. And they, they obviously made it seem very, very quick in the little teaser that they showed us. Uh, where like, they're like, they called him and he literally just moved. I don't know if it's like a technically instantaneous. Or if it's one of those things that kind of moves over time and like, it takes three hours, so while he's technically moving on the map, your character sits there for three hours while he gets there. Is that how that works? I don't really know. 
I'm honestly, I'm looking forward to it though. It's gonna be some needed changes for the game. One, two, three. Okay, we're not going to be struggling in this dungeon at all. That's like one of the harder uh, enemies to take on at this level of the game. At least for a decent amount of builds. Hate those guys. Absolutely hate them. Oh, right. Maybe I should do something about this. All right, chat. If I take my backpack off, will I remember it? Likelihood is I won't. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and put this on. Boss? Absolutely is. Um, I'm undergoing training right now. Next month, I'd be officially deployed in the bank branch. Let's go, Fizzy. Uh, cause the birds gotta fly there. Uh, skellies are tough. I always leave mine at the start. Classic boss by the door, right? And it looks like he's not close enough to anybody else that it's gonna like aggro people if they hear me. So this is gonna be easy. <gasps> he's coming right for us. No, he's not. If I wait here long enough, he usually shows up right next to me. <laughs> it's called strategy right there. One, two. Oh, why he die so fast? That was done. Boss ain't got nothing on us, bro. Uh, I have been searching for the orders prism. I can't find it. Am I just blind or does it not? It does not show up on the map. Does not show up on the map. Uh, Kyrgios killed the necro. <laughs> One dead necro. Uh, get the potion. He just wanted to say hi. He did. He's like, man, where'd this guy go, dude? He ran off. Um, but yeah, Ben, it's so stupid. I don't know why the orders prison does not show up on the map. It's the dumbest thing. And looking for that 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 prison has been the bane of my existence every single time I go to search for it. Like, though to be honest, somebody says that it can spawn over here. I've never seen it spawn on this side of the map. I've seen the uh, the boulder circle over here before, but typically, yeah, it's it's over here somewhere. I've seen it here, here, along the edges. I've seen it way over this way, roughly around here. So yeah, it's. Just think anywhere here, you'll find it. A again, it's this. I just hate looking for it. Y'all know walking this map while interesting, even with speed hacks, I could be on here walking for like 45 minutes and still not find it. And then by the time you do find it, you got to walk all the way back. So it's kind of like, goodness gracious, it's too much. It's way too much. You know, I haven't used my crossbow in this dungeon, so we're going to go ahead and use it. I shot the guy behind him. This ain't working. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh boy. I lied. I lied. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this guy's out of energy or something. He's not doing anything. 
Okay, we're done. We're done. We're just gonna heal up. Not chasing you down no more. <laughs> yeah, stupid ghoul. Ah, oh, goodness gracious. Um, uh, get the potion. Uh, where where was this potion you're talking about? Cause I read it and then I completely forgot all about it. All oh, right. <laughs> okay, I'm back though. <laughs> let me let me let me do this. Um, how do you find it? Hidden potion. A hidden, yeah, hidden prison, I guess. Yeah, you just gotta look around. Uh, they don't want anybody to know. It's so the left side of the map. But it, uh, will it be a point of interest? I yeah, it'll be a point of interest. You'll see a question mark. Um, can you get it as a rumor. You could, yeah. The Bryn fence is so hard though because you have to be benevolence level with those guys. So it depends on where you are in the game. If you're later in the game and their their level is that benevolence, then it unlocks the um, the the Bryn fence. But I I don't know. I'm never I never have benevolence there early on. It should show up uh, if it was built before the war, and if not built after. But I don't know. Yeah, that's what it should. should. I, mean, I would have assumed that the, the order prison was before the war, but apparently not. Uh, I think the lore is, was it just a secret prison? Okay, okay, Giga Ghoul. Bro, we lived. Those guys are really tricky. At the boss, uh, two portrayals is easy. I got the occult cloak too. If I really want it, let's go. Uh, turn into a cock. I don't yeah, that that's true. You turn into two of those and you got plenty of rep Not all the times can you rely on that though and Relying on the Morian if you find it isn't enough reputation So usually I don't really have the the reputation for the uh, For the rotten willow by the time I'm willing to go over and get that because I want to get it usually early enough To go and fight the manticore. So I have one additional skill point so personally, I don't really ever have it. What am I looking for here, chat? Food? Water? Where we water at? All right. <laughs> he was one hit. That's it. Well, at least everybody's now dead. That's good. Got a little hairy there. But, uh, we're, we're talented. We know how to live. Bam. Oh, it's never good when they do that. Oh, I'm bleeding. I didn't... wasn't paying attention. Shield bash next. Yeah, more more RNG. Uh, I could find one at Bryn for sure. The Morian, yeah. Uh, rep on the uh, uh, rep on the RWT is useless anyway. Uh, you talking about rep on what's RWT? Uh, you don't get Jack for the achievement. I usually get just betray the first few quests that gives the items. Uh, if it does, but it doesn't always happen. You get access to the fence and Bryn, and he gives some tips on points of interest with good gear. And good gear, yeah. The tavern. Oh, yeah. Okay, I got you. Rotten Willow Tavern. W, 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 yeah. Um, and on top of that, I, these are things I didn't really know much until chat told me about them. 
But whenever you're looking for those rumors, you could just keep on asking them and pay only once. So if you ask him and he tells you something about like he, like the rumor isn't going to be something you want, you can back out of the inventory, back into the inventory, ask him again until he says something along the lines of like some witch or some shit. And then you know it's for the witch. And then you'll learn the location by only paying once. Uh, I need thirst. Which is really nice. So instead of paying 500 each and every single time, and that's the other thing. Uh, you have to pay 500 per, right? So if you're going to do this, make sure that you do it when you have plenty of cash. Because you don't want to waste your money prior to getting the Amity level, and then you don't have enough money for your gear. That'd be bad. By the way, what, what, what sort of axes do these guys drop? Hunter's Hatchet. These guys probably don't have any upgrades for us. I don't see anything. There was no axe wielders, apparently. The Manticore can give you plenty of rep. Yeah, if you're done with the Manticore, you're basically at Benevolence and, and beyond, right? Uh... Ah, uh, yes, but the, the, the Steam Achievement grind is so brutal. Uh, it really is. Manticore gets uh, the reps, yeah. Uh, just ask till he gives a good one. N not like a random camp and before 500, yeah, you don't want that. Um, less with the ring discount. Oh, that's true, it is less. Uh, or you just don't pay at all and say no and then try later again. That's how I do it. Okay. Do it that way. Uh, let's see here. I figured I was gonna get bled by that guy. Just me and you. Was that my last bandage? I feel like it was. Yeah. That was our last bandage chat. That's okay. I have a rag now. I can use that for a bandage. What did we get here? Those are arrows. Okay. I thought he was shooting bolts, but apparently not. I think we only have one section left. Not bad. I can handle this. Five. Jump them. This is the only axe wielder in the whole place. One, two. I'm bleeding again. Uh, use. What do he drop? Hunter's hatchet? Get out of here. Garbage. That's it, chat. We're done. Let's get out of here. Not bad. Um, I guess either we reset dungeons here. Or we go over to Osberg and knock out some easy ones. Move the belt over. Time to take out some ghouls. I wasn't about to have them eat each other. Oh my god, we got a shovel. Got some gold. Uh, Liar Fire's here. Anniversary? I uh, got the Battle Brothers Fever again. My favorite mercenary. Who's got the Battle Brothers Fever? Soren? You? Probably should keep my 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 axe on me somewhere. Yeah. Just in case. Keep 
My luck, there's a ghoul around here somewhere. I think that was it. There's only two ghouls out here. And that should be it for the graves. Go grab my buckler. And we have to go south. So, all right, let's go back to town. We'll figure out what to do. Yeah, you need to try Battle Brothers. I keep on, people keep on telling me this. I know. After watching Fallout, I kind of got a, a craze to play some Fallout, too. I ended up buying the entire Fallout pack that was available on Steam for like $41. I was like, all right, I get like one, two, three, four, Fallout Vegas, Fallout 4. It came with 76, so I'll probably never play 76. It's just whatever. It was part of the bundle. And uh, Fallout Tactics. I think that was everything. And no, I have not played Battle Brothers ever. But be careful. It's highly addictive. If you like Stone Show, you like Battle Brothers. That's how they get you. It is how they get you, bro. They're like, you can save on all of this. You get a game you probably won't ever play, but you get all this other stuff. I was like, yeah, I could probably, I might play it eventually one day. You know how it is. You're like, I could, maybe. I don't want to, but I might. Uh, and then I, so I loaded up Fallout New Vegas. And it's been a while since I played one of the Fallout games. And I don't know about y'all, but I've always hated the interface. Whenever you're looking through your menu and you're trying to look at weapons and gear and craftable items. And then there's the junk items. I'm like, which one's junk? Which one isn't? I like to keep my inventory. I like to... I'm bad. I, I'm like... What's the word for it? I'm, I'm a hoarder. For one. I will want to go into a, a, any sort of settlement and I steal everything. Whether I need to or not, I got fucking inventory filled with junk. I played all my Fallout games with, I'm not gonna lie to you, with cheats on for extra weight. <laughs> so I'm like, I can't, like a hypochondriac or whatever the word is, when like, you gotta have everything. And if you don't have everything, if you miss some loot, you, you, you get, you get this scratch. It's like, I, I gotta go back and grab that shit up, bro. <laughs> that, that's me. And I told myself, I hopped in a, to, um, Fallout New Vegas, like I said, a couple days ago. I said, I'm never gonna, I'm not gonna loot anything. I don't need this shit. As soon as I got done putting all my points where they need to be, I looted the entire, uh, you, you cause Fallout New Vegas, you start off in the doctor's office. I looted everything in his house where I was walking real slow and I'm like, fuck, sucks. But I gotta have the loot, you know? <laughs> so bad, bro. Well, fuck, I got a problem. What is this? What is all this? What the fuck did I get hit with? Y'all motherfuckers coming at me. Get out of my chat. Holy Jesus. And you're blocked. Uh, let me let me take care of this real quick. Uh, and you're blocked. And you're blocked. You're blocked. Right? That's the other one. I don't want to block somebody that's that's a, that's a, that's a person. Is that everybody? Did I block all of the, the cock suckers? All right, what was I missing out on? So I, was, I was telling my story, and then, you know, we had some bots come in here being assholes. Uh, my favorite mercenary, be careful, it's highly addictive, that's how they get you. Battle Brothers experience is missing 95% hit chance three times in a row. Sounds more like XCOM. Oh, I missed somebody, I think. Bro, I hate these people. How am I missing all these blocks? Is 
Sorry about that. That's better. I that should get rid of everybody. Now I can go through my chat again. Yeah, oh, and there's no mods in here. In my humble opinion, Akmal, you can even stream Bra Battle Brothers. Fucking bots, bro. Tell you. I'm a hoarder. Yeah, Fizzy, do your job. Uh, two more. You missed two. Uh, three. Why are these? Oh my god, there's so many of them. Get out of here, bro. Uh, Akmal's already becoming famous. Dude, no, it, when I was less, when I had less viewers, I had more bots, if you can imagine. I even got bot invaded where I had like a thousand subscribers within like a matter of seconds. And I'm like, F what do I do? What do I do with this? Like, I don't want Twitch to think I did it myself because I did it. That's when it's really scary. Um, let me go turn this in real quick, chat. And then, uh, we'll figure out where to, where to go from here. I'll probably go over to Osbrook, just knock out some dungeons real quick. We want to sell... Ah, oh, accuracy versus crit. What do you guys think? Accuracy or crit? I got 82, but we're Velmir. So I guess it doesn't really matter. I'll sell that off. We'll keep the crit. I sold it. I was gonna eat the food. And I have two I uh, two items to identify. I have this in my backpack. We already know this guy's not gonna be able to afford half of these items. He's down to 700. That's for eight. No, he can't afford it. There ain't no way. We'll offload this for Bryn. Pop inside. Uh, nothing worth uh, with being a loot goblin. No, oh, bam! I love the loot. Yeah, bots like small channels. Not much mods who can regulate it. Yes, yeah, true. It's true. I can't. Uh, I can't. You know, I, I don't stream enough, so it's like it's hard finding everybody that's on the same page and does this, the exact same time frames as you to mod for you. But I don't really need it much, so it hasn't really been an issue. ID scroll, ID scroll. That's pain killing and accuracy fumble energy. Oh, what's our fumble at? 16? That's a good one. That's a good one. I don't know if I want to have it right now. Helps decrease our fumble. Let's go get our gear repaired real quick, though. I doubt I have to repair this. No. I don't even know why I care this anymore. It's just to look cool. All right, so we should be good to go to Osberg, right? Uh, crit, baby. <laughs> Swords all, all about that crit. I died with my crossbow build. Found a secret room in that build um, at the start again. Another secret room. Found a secret room in that build. Started, started again and another secret room. What the frick, bro? So when will you try Battle Brothers? I don't know. Every time I look at it, I'm like, there's so much to this game. It's, it's like starting any other game. Like, I'll get overwhelmed by all the information that I uh, I won't have fun initially playing it. <laughs> I'll be like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. Maybe one day. I mean, we are kind of falling off with content available for Stone Shard. Considering the updates taking a lot longer than we anticipated so i don't know i really don't i could definitely use another game to play but i'm also got like two other games i want to play that i've been trying to make youtube videos for obviously the subterrain minds of titan i got to get through that game i want i started it i want to get through with it 
And then, um... The other one. The tower defense game. What is it called again? The last spell? I gotta get through that one. I haven't played it in like three weeks. So I've kind of put that one on hiatus. Uh, what do we need to do here, chat? I'm probably gonna leave my cloak behind because we're not gonna need it. I'm gonna leave that behind because we're not gonna need that. I can sell this antitoxin. And then I'm gonna grab a contract and rest up and knock it out. Um, but I don't know. Like, like I said, like there's a lot of options out there. Hell, and now that I have a uh, Fallout One, I mean that's technically plays the same way as this game. Technically, it's been a while since I played it, but I'm pretty sure it's basically this. You know you guys like Fallout. Uh, so you go ahead and rent a room. We'll try to knock this out quickly. What level are we? Level 6? Almost level 7? And by doing this? If we get lucky and find our um, armored combat treaty, that's going to be great. It'll, it'll save me a little bit of cash for having to buy the book. Uh, there's no shame in dropping a game if it doesn't do well on YouTube. Okay, well, I mean, I, yeah, but I also want to finish the goddamn game off, okay? I started it. I want to finish it. I enjoy the game even though people don't watch it, <laughs> which happens to be... <laughs> the last spell, nobody really watched those ones, and nobody's really watching the um, um, Subterrain Minds of Titan game. But I like the game, so I want to finish it. Why... Why am I getting stopped here? Oh, I hear wolves. They're south of us from the looks of it. Okay, we're good. We're good. Um, so you just need to have a broken leg and you have all the time to try Battle Brothers out. There you go. So long as work pays me, I'll be all right. I have to break the leg at work. And then I'll get workers cop, right? Oh shit, but then if I already say it out loud, if I say the quiet part out loud, they'll know. Shit. You guys heard nothing. Though it'd be really hard to break my leg at work. I'd have to do something really dumb. I work in sales and I don't there's not really much walking or jumping or you know, anything else that would require me to break a leg. Ah, uh, there we go. We've leveled up. Bam! Bam! What else does uh, Vitality give us? Block power recovery and control res? Just curious. Boss room. No chest, garbage. Uh, next door. Uh. Walk the stairs? No, there, there's no, not even any stairs. Uh, they are to us. Just keep, keep the tone down. <laughs> just keep the tone down. Um, not that, it, yeah. <laughs> it's, not that I want to give you any tips. Just saying. Uh, you can pause the stone shard content on YouTube so you can finish the last spell. I, you know what? I could. It would help me complete it, because right now I'm trying to do two things at once. If you guys haven't been to the YouTube and been watching consistently, you'll notice that I'm trying to do... I got I got 
four episodes of Stone Shard. I do those weekly. I got two to three episodes of Subterrain Minds of Titan. And those 20 to 30 minute episodes of Subterrain are like damn near two hours of recording. It's just there's so much dead air because like a lot of it ends up just being silly grinding because you have to grind for um, minerals to keep your your camp running smoothly. You have to grind for rations and water supply stuff, right? So I'll usually grind that stuff out while recording and that takes me like 45 minutes or so. And then there's, if I'm doing a quest, um, I'll, I'll, I'll talk while doing the quest and then going to the next objective in the quest is just like, you cut all that out. So realistically, it's only like 20 minutes of actual gameplay. Everything else is me walking around or grinding. Whereas Stone Shard is very simple. I just, hey, we're in town. We're selling. Hey, we're in a dungeon. We're doing the dungeon. Once the dungeon's done, we're back in town. You just cut those like the walking portions out. So, I mean, e uh, editing through subterrain simple. But I gotta get what you're saying, like, put a pause on that. Only problem I have with it, though, Soren, is I'm also trying to keep my views high. And <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, man, the, some, uh, the stone shard stuff keeps my views averaging about 30k a month. Whereas if I was to switch that shit out for a couple of weeks, that average would really, it would drastically decrease. And uh, I don't want that to happen fighting the algorithm at that point like oh come on somebody watch this content please uh, but yeah no like at, at the moment I can't really increase or I, I know I could decrease the, the, the amount of views I get per month if I switched out content uh, 100% to something else uh, but yeah right now I usually average 30k views and about 4k watch hours every single month that's really not bad for somebody that's only been uh, really realistically doing the, the YouTube thing for about a year. Pick your poison then. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Um, I did see that this other YouTuber who's a little smaller channel. Oh, crap. They're pissed off. There's a lot of them, too. I forgot about the wolves. They're pissed. I think we got away from them, though. Okay, we're good. But no, there was a smaller channel. He was making content on um, Quasimorph. And while I don't like Quasimorph, it was interesting because he would get like two to three hundred, sometimes closer to eight hundred, depending on the on the uh, the episode for views on that game, which I didn't really like the game, you know? So it's just surprising that people are still highly interested into watching that, where I kind of figured Subterrain being a brand new game, there'd be a lot more interest into the game. It just hasn't worked out that well. Uh, that's a nice turnout. Congrats to you. Thanks, I appreciate that. It, it's been a it's been a whole year in the, in the in the workings of it all. So, like, it's exciting whenever that happens. Um, because we, we hit that thousand k subscriber, a thousand, yeah, a thousand, not thousand k. It's it's like a million, I think, isn't it? <laughs> a thousand uh, subscribers on YouTube, and that allows you to get monetized on your videos. So it seems like the effort I put in, I'm actually getting paid on it now, which is cool. Nothing crazy. I think it's about mm, 60 bucks a month. But it's just extra revenue, right? And it's nice, though. That, that 60, I don't... I'll be honest. Anything I've made with, with Twitch and anything I've made on YouTube, I haven't spent a single dime of that. It's all still in my PayPal. That's it. It just sits there. And then maybe one day, I'll pull it out when there's a large sum, and we'll do something special. But until then, it's just it's just gonna be money that I pretend does not exist. Uh, bow amulets. So we already talked about we don't need that. 
it depends on how popular the game is. Yeah, I guess. I didn't think. Uh, I mean, Subterranean is is a is a smaller community game. But I mean, I, I would have thought that the that the turn based aspect of it would have uh, really turned people on to it. You go into um, Steam, and there's only been like 300 view, or sorry, 300. Uh, closer to 400, but anyway, uh, uh, reviews on the game. So there hasn't been much foot traffic for anybody looking at it. Whereas Stone Shard, obviously it's been out for about three years or four years or whatever it is. It's got a lot more uh, reviews, like 23,000. So there's a lot more active people willing to at least put a, a time and effort into putting a review on there, which usually kind of correlates to how popular the game is. Sell that off. Uh, so I'm not sure it isn't that popular, but the community is nice. So yeah, popularity wise, we've at least man managed to maintain a decent amount of concurrent viewers and concurrent players uh, versus another game like that, like the uh, the Subterrain, which I don't think has just picked up enough traction. And it's so hard because like if you find a game that's too popular, you're probably never going to get discovered. That's always a problem. If you pick a game that's not popular, good luck finding anybody that's willing to watch, right? Uh, I just, I don't know. I, finding Stone Shard as a, as a game to play helps me because it was a game that I thoroughly enjoy and didn't think I was going to enjoy it this much. And plus, there was still an active watching uh, a community for it. So, kind of lucked out there, not going to lie. Now we're going to, I, I figure, rest up and then knock out this next contract. So go ahead, talk, rent a room, and... Is Stone Shard that popular? I mean, honestly, it is, considering... It's weird, right? Because nobody streams it, but people come to watch it, right? When I first started streaming this, I think on the first day I had like 10, 15 people. Well, maybe not 15, but I had like at least 10 people. I was like, I didn't, I didn't, like, there was only two people streaming this. I didn't think anybody was going to stop in to watch at all. Uh, come to find out, sure as shit, people still watch it. And then I started getting a little bit more active on, like, the sharing my Twitch on their Discord, which I think helped out. And then making YouTube videos, and everybody from YouTube have popped over here. Well, not everybody, but a decent chunk of people have come from YouTube, from the content they watch there, uh, and started watching our streams, which is pretty neat. I think the problem with the Minds of Titan is also, it's just too new, so most of the viewers you would get are going to other, uh, other YouTube. Yeah, that's probably true as well, until those, until the higher, uh, or larger channels stop playing the game, and then people are like, that are actively wanting that content would come over to my channel. Um, plus it's just, it was, it's so difficult to do Minds of Titan. There's a lot of story. This game here, there is story, but it's so minuscule, right? We talk to Varen. He has some backstory, which we can skip entirely. I don't have to go through, like, dialogue after dialogue after dialogue. You play Minds of Titan, every single person you're talking to will have some backstory in, 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 in their whole conversation about this, that, and the other. So you read that entire thing. And there's also these stupid little quests, like any other like mainstream RPG, there'd be like, hey, little love letter bullshit, right? So you gotta do a quest uh, for love in the camp or whatever the hell the quest was called, where you're now playing Mr. Matchmaker, which is all right. It's just matchmaking in space, a little odd, but all right. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of these little nuanced little quests that you can do on top of going into the mines to dig up new ore and find new areas. And yeah, there's a lot of things to do in the game, which can be a little bit overwhelming, to be honest. Right, where are we going, chat? Up north. And then the last spell, the biggest problem I have with the last spell is it seems it's so hard to cut anything out of it because you have like th technically three phases. You've got the, um, the nighttime phase where you're doing the bosses, or sorry, you're doing like the, uh, you're surviving the wave while any waves of enemies are coming at you. You've got the town phase, 
right? Where you uh, level up your uh, your little you level up your people, you fix your base, you build new stuff, you buy stuff, uh, and then you have your prep phase. I probably should have started with the prep phase, attack phase, and build phase, but regardless. Everything needs to kind of be in there. I can't really cut out anything except for my long thinking. Like, I'll think for like, I don't know, 30 seconds, like, what's the next move we should do? I can cut that out. But otherwise, I gotta keep so much in there. If I'm buying new gear, you guys gotta see that I'm buying new gear, I would assume. So, I don't know, certain games, I just don't have the, uh, an eye for, um, how to how to cut and how to edit uh, the footage to still be entertaining, but not so much information that you're like, oh, fuck, he's great. He's in town again. He's going to be over here for like three hours uh, looking through inventory, trying to get his characters all set up great. So, <laughs> so silly. But I don't know. Some, some games are just more, more of a challenge to edit through. And I don't want to spend, you know, three hours editing one video because it's just way too much time and effort spent that I could otherwise spend doing something else. But otherwise, if you guys haven't played the last spell, it is pretty fun. Hello? Why? Okay, listen. Where's my attacks of opportunity? Good counterattack, though. Oh, run away. Nice. That works out well for us. Okay, chat. Let's get uh, let's get a little bit deeper in here. This guy killed himself. And I'm going to break that. I can't attack him. I can now, though. So good. Hello? I heard a door, but I don't see a door. I love axes, bro. Like, seriously. Ferocity as a passive is another one of those super, super strong uh, passive skills out there. Just by causing injuries, reducing your cool uh, skill cooldowns by three and replenishing your energy, it's dope. It's just as good as the dagger one is. Uh, was it this one? Not well. This one's good too, but not as good because like it doesn't replenish your energy. It just helps reduce uh, dagger cooldowns. Not like daggers use much energy to begin with. Oh, hello. Okay, we have a basement level. I'm. You know, I haven't seen a secret room. In like probably over a month chat. It's our time, okay? On my way is been finding plenty of secret rooms. Okay, we're always the bride today, never the bride, right? It's our turn to be the bride, okay? Tired of it. Uh, I myself don't like cutting. I'd rather have a full video and skip myself, uh, and skip myself thinks if I want to. You'd rather do it that way? That would be, uh, much less time invested for sure. Um, but I, I do like the, the cuts because, like, personally, when I cut the videos, it cuts out the monotony, especially for a game, like, that's turn-based. Cutting out the walking. That saves so much time. Like, you guys don't need to see me walk everywhere. You know what, what walking is. You know how long it's going to take. 
Oh, he dropped a claw trap. But no, I like I like uh you know I kind of get to the nitty gritty because if I'm watching a video, I've, I've tried to edit the same way that I would like to watch, right? I hate when th people throw up all that uh, that craziness into a video with weird noises and weird like meme cuts. Like I'm like that's not me, bro. That's just too much. I if I if I see a video and they have that shit, I immediately stop watching. <laughs> like. I don't get it. This is not funny to me. I came for the vi for like the experience of the game, not for you to throw a bunch of memes at me. No. Not at all. My daughter's into stuff like that though. She's like, Dad, you just need to do this. I'm like, yeah, I could, but no. This is the boss, isn't it? Yeah! Bam! Bam! One, two, back on my shoe. Easy game, bro. I don't know what to do here. I got too much stuff in my inventory. Oh, backpack. Back. Move, move, move. Um, alcohol. Move that up. So we need this cell key. Uh, I get it uh, for turn-based stuff and in company, but anytime I have a like a, a strategy game, most often the hell, Tombus turn-based. Um, I have to. I hate it because the cut thinks I want to see even if the uh, if even if they're a bit boring. I hate it because the cut th thinks I want. I hate I hate it because the cut the cuts the, the thinkings I, I want to see even if I okay I got you. What do you mean memes are fun? No, I hate the memes, bro. Uh, maybe I'm just too old. I don't know. I cannot stand them, bro. I just cannot stand them. They throw in that what? Or they throw in that like like some fucking three hours late. I'm like, stop, dude! You're interrupting my 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 broadcast service. Like, stop! It's too much. I don't like it. I'm all. I just can't do it. Okay. I never, never enjoyed it. Where the hell is the boss at? Oh, I already killed him. What am I talking about? I'm looking for this guy. You guys got me all distracted that I forgot I killed the boss. It was just so quick. Gave us some food. I'll eat. Uh, because it's, it, it, because... The cuts think I want to see. Sorry, I'm bad English is strong today. <laughs> Sorry, no worries. Like, so you want you want to you don't want to cut out you thinking, so that way the people can watch you, like technically go, shit. We gotta think of our next move. What do you guys think we should do here, chat? Versus just being like, oh, this guy is playing so damn quick. No wonder he sucks at the game. Which sometimes happens to me. Like, you know, I, I play fast turn-based game and you're playing it fast and then you die and you wonder why yeah that's it this one's done too again we knew it was gonna be easy I want to do one more here before we finally head back to uh, Manshire and I got some more yeah, as well read that book too I think our immunity is high as well Fuck yeah, it is. We're, we've, been, we've been killing it. I probably could have made my way down to uh, to Bryn and knocked out a Bryn contract. We're doing well enough. Oh my god, there's been so many wolves lately. Ridiculous. 
I guess the next thing we gotta do, Chad, is go ahead and grab up uh, the Warfare Treaty. Not Warfare. God, I keep on saying Warfare. Another wolf! Stop! Leave me alone. We need the Armored Combat Treaty. But again, we were doing one more proselyte. If we get super lucky, we could get a, a Armored Combat uh, book from the proselytes. So, pray for me. And I'm guessing this guy is in here drinking his life away. What do you have for sale? Sell the alcohol? God dang, she don't have no money, chat. We got a brigand camp. And then we're gonna sell alcohol. Sell the oil and the alcohol. Heard anything interesting? Bear territory. You know, I also wonder if they're going to expand the map a little bit to make room for those new places. Or if they're just going to randomly put them somewhere. Uh, you're too old for the memes, I see. <laughs> He's true. No, I mean the, the cut thinks. No, I mean cut thinks out. I want to see... The cut thinks. So yeah, you want to you want to keep the thinking part in, right? Even if it's a bit boring. Nope, I don't, I don't think you are ready for bread. You don't think so? I think we might be. I got plenty of everything. I think we. <laughs> I got shitty rings. I won't lie to you about that. But I mean, otherwise, you might be right though. We might not be ready. If, mm, I might have. I want to try it though. We have been dying a lot lately, so maybe not risk it though. Mm. We'll see, Soren. Okay, maybe do one more round of Manshire contracts. But by then, it's probably the troll fight. Let's go sell our gear. Get rid of it all. Everything. Almost everything. Now let's just buy from this lady. Uh, let's see. More pancakes? I gotta get that identified. A brigand camp? I don't need no more healing supplies, do I? No. Gonna sell off the Stardust, though. Alright, where do we have to head? North of us? I may as well offload the unidentified potion. And now we can head out, chat. Almost, almost, almost. Perfect, ready to go. I'm some good feedback though, because if if you guys like the thinking part, the only little problem is it's just dead air, because you're thinking. Because I mean, what what am I supposed to say? Huh. Like, I'm not witty half the time. Hence why I like to cut the stuff out. But I can give it a shot. I can give it a shot. See if I can you know, tweak it a little bit. If even the episodes are quite a bit longer. Because uh, the last spell, you do one day in there and it's like 45 minutes or an hour. You do two days? Oh shit, you're at two hour long video. It's insane. The, 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 the amount of time it takes to do those uh, those missions. It's not short. 
All right, we're going to get surrounded by enemies here. We always do. Uh, ooh, an enchanting scroll. I'm going to use the enchanting scroll. More health, because that's what I needed in my life. I'm going to try to do this as fast as possible, chat. Grab the henbane. We're going to try to use it a little bit later on the boss. Come on, give me some books. Hey, that room is finished. Moving on. We're going to clear this out in less than a minute. Guaranteed. Oh, never mind. It'll be two minutes. There's the second floor. Uh, I gotta figure this out. So apply this to nowhere. Throw it away. Don't need the tine. Cover. Take that. We do have a library. Take the book, gaming dice. Oh my goodness. Um, eat, toss that away. Uh, think out loud. I mean, I try to. Again, I'm not always that witty, so even when I'm thinking out loud, I, I feel like I'm mumbling to myself, like, ah, what, can I, can I do this? Is this a thing? And then I'm having a self argument with myself, like, you're dumb. Um, that, could, that could feel more original, though, because it really is just me talking. <laughs> uh, toss that away. Take the identify potion. Boss room. Fuck me. Um, Another enchanting scroll. I was gonna use this on the boss. We don't need it no more. Uh, oh shite. Uh, oh right, I didn't uh, sell those like I was supposed to. Another, it's the same dang book we found. We got three of them. James Teller and trying to tell me something. Read this book. Is that it? Wow, the basement was smaller than the upstairs. Huh? Oh, was that a minute? Yeah, it only took us about a minute to do that. Mm. We're not quite finished, though. There will be another library to check out. So I'm happy to see that. Come here. All right, what did we get? Statuettes. Uh, throw that away. Put this here. Bam. Ridiculous. All shitty books. Osberg's gonna make me super confident and we're gonna head down to bread, bro. 
Oh, a mirror? Um, that's 200. Noise off with his noggin, y'all. Oh, we got bled. Dead. And another buck, uh, Rich. That's all she wrote. She's dead. Took us uh, only two minutes to complete this. We're good. Yeah, there's no traps. Fantastic work by yours truly. Uh, don't just try because I say, just because I say it if you don't want to, give us your reasoning why you want to do stuff like that. Do it in that moment. Uh, have you gave any thoughts on uh, the new devlog? I'm excited for the flags and the man, uh, the, the messenger page. The messenger pages is probably the best part about it. I mean, the flags give you buffs and stuff, which I'm also excited, but yeah, no, we made a little video on it, uh, on the YouTubes. I kind of put my, uh, my, my opinion into it, but I also just came off of work and I hurried up and made a, uh, uh, kind of like a reactions to the devlog. I hurried through it since I was like, I gotta go to work tomorrow the next day anyway. Well, you know, yeah, I like the messenger pigeon. It's probably the best one. We got our own Uber service to call Varen. I like that a lot. Uh, flags are great. The reputation, though. Having multiple different ways to gain rep. Much more convenient. I'm all about that. So we can be mer uh, merchants, right? We can buy and uh, sell trade goods to gain reputation. And it's 5% based on how much the item cost or 5 or 10%, whatever it was. That's insane. If we're selling like trade goods that are worth like thousands of gold. Bro, reputation. Buy, sell, trade. The only thing that was uh, weird is they kept on mentioning negative, negative conditions or negative, um, uh, whatever the hell is going on. There's like a negative condition in a settlement. What does that mean exactly? Does it, do they mean negative in the regards that, um, there will be sort of like events that happen, like negative events, uh, let's say like a raid, a plague, something like that that will happen to a settlement causing it to be in the negative or do they mean like you you're just in the negative like this particular reputation is negative because of the actions that you've done i don't know we'll find out did i already sell everything from this guy i did well we gotta wait for him there he is you got my reward Till next time. Well, let's see here, chat. I need to pick up my other purse and merge. I need to pick this purse up. I have an inventory filled with items and some books. Now the books, I'm going to take those over to Manshire. Get them offloaded so I can get everything else sold up. And there's a lot of books here, okay? A lot. And we're gonna sell to this guy. Sell, 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 sell. Open that up, move these over. Since we have to go back to Osbrook anyway, I'm only gonna sell a couple of the, the, the oil off to him. Talk. Sure. Um, trader build incoming, basically, 100%. Yeah, multiple paths to success, like the Rogue being released, Rogue 2. I'm, I'm excited for it, though. 
Like, th these are all needed changes that we've all, I'm sure, have told the devs all about in one fashion or another. And they're probably not implementing it in the way that we would have assumed that they would, would have, like, uh, you know, that we have assumed they had implemented. But I like it. I like it. All these are kind of like upgrades that you're not going to have right off the bat. You have to go through a process of upgrading a caravan to make these sort of things happen. Um, it does seem, though, like our our each individual build that we create now is going to be that much um, longer, right? We're going to have a build hanging on for a much longer period of time versus, okay, Oswork done, Manshire done, Brin's done, we hit Amity, hit the tier fours, hit the two bosses. We're done, right? That's, you know, call it 16, 17, 18, and you're basically finished with the game. Now that we have another avenue to work on, getting Varen's uh, carts all upgraded, that's going to be more walking, more kind of like planning. Uh, we have more places to visit, so there's that aspect to it. it whether we have to visit those uh, other places or not is going to be, you know, is to be seen but it's cool it's nice i like I like. Th there's not just one place i think there's like there's what looks like a, a troll cave or some sort of cave there were, they showed two of those i think there was um two new settlements there's like a bridge point of interest uh we have all this reputation that we can gain now with all these different settlements it's insane. There's a lot to it. It's going to be overwhelming at first, I'm sure. Trying to learn all the new stuff. Uh, but it's going to be fun. What else should I do here? Uh, uh, also, bring Stone Shard into competition with Dwarf Fortress and Rimworld. Dwarf Fortress? Probably heard of that one. Dwarf. Is it good? Dwarf. Four. I don't have it on my wish list. I'm uh, Never played this one. Yeah, this one looks more like Rimworld than uh than Stone Shard. Where am I at? What am I doing? What are you selling? Here? I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Do we? Do we? Go to Manshire and knock out some contracts? Or do we go to Bryn and knock out contracts? We're going to vote on it. So if I die, it's your guys' fault, okay? It won't be mine, it'll be yours. Let's see here, manage the bull. New bull. Uh, to be or not to be. Men shot up. Bread. I'll give you guys like three minutes to decide while I kind of organize my uh, my loot here. Okay. Um, I hope there will be more gear. Me too. Me too. Right now, it seems very lackluster. We don't have enough options. Wait, where's the priest at? Did you all just go to bed, or are you all waking up? I'm confused. Which It's daytime. It's just not early enough. There we go. Okay, so 
Uh, this is an ID scroll. Use. We get bad trip. We get frailness. Ooh, use both of those on the boss? We get rage. Nice, nice. Okay, those are really good potions. I need to offload that ID scroll. Uh, time for a new build. If you go to Bryn, uh, it is true. 1.0 is releasing this in 2024 for um, Dwarf Fortress. Uh, time for a new build. If you go to Bryn, I'd like to see some more varied throwables and caltrops. Nets are nice, but how about axe? Oh, yeah, 100%. A throwable axe and maybe builds that uh that, that work around that i'm curious what i'm kind of curious about the sabotage build i'm assuming obviously it's gonna be like for setting up traps and everything else but yeah do some sabotage i also want to do a mixture of venomancy and daggers finally being able to apply poison to my daggers so fucking awesome. Have a little bit of uh, maybe like uh, poison and the caustic damage. Uh, especially with like daggers though. When you're uh, fighting heavily armored enemies, get a little bit of caustic damage to help with that uh, armor a wee bit. Y'all for it. Uh, I got so much gold. It's a decent amount of gold actually. We're almost done with the uh, the, the voting process here. Uh, those are some pretty good potions, right? I could throw fragility. I could throw hallucinations at the boss enemy next. Uh, oh, by the way, did you try the sword dagger counter build with electro damage on top? I have not tried sword dagger counter. I've tried dagger, dagger, counter. That one didn't work too bad. But I, I, I over leveled that one. I'm going to be making some videos on it in the next few days or so. I already got one video taken care of where we fought the troll. Nobody knows about that. Nobody's seen it yet. I'm going to do the Manticore after that one. Now, granted, unfortunately, I'm not able to, like, kill them specifically with counter attacks the whole time. But I can still t uh, stand toe to toe with them and just kind of, like, have a whole lot of fun killing them quickly that's about it but then after that we're gonna go into three dungeons and i'm gonna call that a quits with that particular run but i'm not doing permadeath on it either because it's just something i'm doing for fun as a separate deal all right let's take a look at the the vote view results did you guys say bryn y'all said manshire two to one all right nobody wanted me to die i guess all right you can't call me a chicken this time. So we need one vivifying essence. Ah, oh, crap. Actually, merge these two together. The books I'm going to offload. One and two. Backpack's empty. We don't need to utilize this enchanting scroll. I do need some more bandages, though. What's your shallon? It's probably too many, but it's okay. Yeah, I'll take one more. See, we take good care of you. Sometimes y'all do. Sometimes. Y'all just want to see this build live to uh, to fruition. Uh, so it gets all the way to the end game, right? I think I, think I said the right word there. Uh... Let's take a look. We need the armored combat. 290. That's good. A lot less expensive than normal. All right. So the first move we grab up. I don't really need. I'll take the. Yeah, we'll take brace. We'll take brace.
Got any work for me? All right. Hello. Allow us to rest. And then we'll just rest this off for like, I'm going to go into like 1700 hours because I probably still have to repair my gear. Oh, no, we're good on the gear. That's great. 1350 should be plenty. I just need some food and we're good to go. What you shelling? And then I want some, let's see, some roasted drumstick, a pretzel. Uh, what would you build different to my build if you would try it? I mean, it sounds good. Sword, dagger, electromancy damage, counter. I mean, nothing wrong with that. I, I guess it all depends. I'm, let me ask you a quick question. Are you, um, I don't know if you really need to, though. I was going to ask if you're going for counterattack mastery and the dagger trees or like, what are you, what are you focusing more on? Probably fencer stance. Cause I don't think daggers give you counterattack. No, no, they don't. So, if you were to do sword dagger in the main hand and sword dagger in the off hand, crit is not a it crit. Or sorry, counter is not split between the two. Counter is effectively if you have two weapons, they all go into the counter attack pool. So you could still, yeah, you could probably have quick hands and do what I was doing before where you kind of swap to give you that uh, that boost to your counter chance. On top of the swords already having that. That could be something interesting. I don't know what you do, though. Uh, her build, uh, her build, Electro, you get Jolt Residual Charge, Magic Mastery, with Seal of Power, Swords, the right side, including Onrush. Uh, dual wielding, dual wield training, athletics with disengage, uh, mighty kick, push the fall, and the dash, warfare for opportune moment, dagger for quick hands, uh, double lunge, and deadly trick. How many how many moves is that? What, what level does that put you at? So one, two, three. So you got, uh, let me look through here real quick. So we already talked about it. So I'm going to take a screenshot of that too, because I might. Uh, you know, pick that up. So one, two. And then we go into Magic Mastery. Three. You're not going to get uh, Body and Spirit. I'm sure you can get this one later. But so it's uh, three. You said swords. So you said the swords. The right side down here. So three, four, five, six, seven. That's eight. Athletics. Be disengaged. So we were at about eight. That'd be nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Warfare. It's five or uh, thirteen. Fourteen. Be 15 and 16. So we're talking about getting like to level 16 or sorry, 15 before we have all of these unlocked, which is fine. You could still make it to the man, uh, Manticore if we're talking Manticore fights at 15. I would, I would add in, uh, if you're going to do the, the whole seal of power thing, I would probably also add in body and spirit. That's going to give you more weapon damage as well. You, you, you may as well do it, you know what I'm saying? Ugh. Okay. Where are we going? Castle Danban. Straight north. We have food. Yep, check. I need water. Wait. <laughs> what? What happened to my water jug? Is 
Does nobody carry a water jug? Oh my goodness. When did I drop that? Something's not right here. Pretty sure I didn't drop that chat, okay? Don't look at me like that. It's not my fault. I didn't do it. Weird, though. I did think more about some electro skills on top of the... On top to lower the electro... Re, uh, the electro resistance on the enemies. Get more stuns more often. How much do you stun on a sword and a dagger, though? What is uh, control of move resistance? What do they modify? Where the hell am I? Uh, okay. Knockback, immobilization, stagger, um, and then control resistance, stun, daze, confusion. So. You do? A lot? Interesting. I would think it would work better for like something like a mace, but... What about your enchantments on your weapons? What are you looking for? Since you're trying to do a counter build, are you looking more for... Um, counter related enchantments? Or are you looking for just whatever works the best? Getting a little bit of uh, damage modifiers to that. I have I have to make four attacks every round, more or less, with my counters. Okay, you do. Let's get a little bit more counter chance there. Well, the one build I got about eighty something counter percents or counter chance when I swap between my two dagger sets. The one with the buckler, so I got like a, a rondel that came with counter. I can't shoot an chance, but counter and energy drain with a buckler. When I swap like this, it gave me a hundred percent counter chance, and then the other weapon, it was um, about eighty six percent counter. This looks like the boss chambers right off the bat, chat. It one hundred percent is. Let me avoid that because if these guys hear us, it's gonna be beyond like Donkey Kong. I already knew he's gonna make me bleed. All right, next up, easy enemy who is now deceased. Oh, that's that's beautiful. That's a beautiful thing right there. I'm gonna try to close this door. There we go. I'm just gonna... Ten. That's not there. Okay. Now we should be good. We shouldn't get surrounded. Hello. Fancy seeing you here. Crap. Okay, so I got three bad guys. Ouch. Who's up next? Just tearing it up. Okay. Like, you guys don't have anything on me. Seriously. Like, try again in your next life. Maybe you could touch a hair of my chin. Maybe. But I still doubt it. And you guys said we couldn't go to Bryn. Ye have little faith. Electro enchantment would have been the best, uh, but you can work with the others too. I get you. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad. Uh, two electro enchantments. If you get super lucky, that is. You can always try to save scum it, though. You know, depends on how how 
much you really want that enchantment. A rogue. Nicely done. This build's pretty solid. Oh, we have swordsmen. I really hate swordsmen. I'm gonna wait for him. Good counter attack. Now we're not gonna have much counter attack once we go into a uh, like a medium or a heavy shield. The counter attack part portion of our damage dealing abilities is gonna be a lot less, but we can still make do. Oh, uh, we need some life drain. We a little bit, a little bit. We just haven't found anything with life drain just yet. I don't know why. Game said no. Ah, oh, damn. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, shoot him in the back. Be a real man. Don't get so. So hard target, that'll prevent us from getting shot in the back as often. I D scroll. Well, this will be the final round in Manshire, I do believe. Cause by the time we're done here, we should be like, with the three dungeons here in Manchester, we should be level, uh, level 10. And then we have to take on the troll. He's gonna be easy. Um... I'll offload it for right now. We'll come back for it. Oh, he still got me with it. Come back. Just in case we're gonna break that crate. Last room? No, not quite. Oh, my traps. Ah, we're bleeding. This axe is killing it. This is what I'm talking about. All right, we gotta somehow avoid these traps. We don't want to step in them. It's bad for business. I think we're done though. I'm gonna take a quick look, make sure there's nothing on the ground worth taking. Obviously the backpack, I can grab that up, but Oh, I haven't even looted this room for some reason. Everything else should be looted though. ID scroll. 
Oh yeah, the bolt of cloth. I have to come back for that. Okay. Grab the backpack first. Please don't step on any traps. Whatever you do. All right, the backpack is up. Open this. Move, move, and move. Grab the traveling cape. Reorganize. Put that up. And now I just need to go all the way back to the bolt of cloth. Please don't step on any traps. So far, so good. Yeah, we're good. All right, cool. Let's get out of here, chat. We have two more dungeons left. What is the chat saying to me? Uh, I do normally about 9 to 13 electro damage with my sword. So that's it's, uh, over like 10%. It's a stun the henchman plus the stun percentage for my dagger stacks, and then that's more or less two times a turn. Okay, it's fair, it's fair. Um, and my counter chance is at least 45%. I think without much active skills. I bet if you had the if if you had like opportunities to swap weapons where the dagger hand, like if you had like again. This is an like, ideal half the time, because even in my tests of swapping weapons in between, uh, or like in the middle of a fight, was it the best situation just to get more of that counter attacking going? Because it seems like whenever you do that, it just gives the, the enemy the opportunity to um, to hit you for free, even though your dodge, or in this, in this particular instance, my dodge is super, super high, and yet, it doesn't feel that way. As soon as I switch weapons, I get hit. Maybe there's like a mechanic that says, hey, if you're swapping weapons around, your dodge doesn't matter. I don't know. I was trying it on the boss too. The troll fight. I'll probably post that video. Uh, not this coming week, maybe the, the week after have the dual dagger troll kill manti kill and then the three dungeons it'll give me enough time in between uh that and the next build oh i don't want that there that's not that's not a little purse let's see here I can keep that iron ingot for a quest. Fumble and dodge. Get rid of it. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. Don't don't use swap much. Only use it for a deadly trick. Uh, so I can then get around a melee fighter for want. I got you. Yeah, the, the swap trick does to, uh, I, I, if you're going to use it, like, you don't have to use it in the middle of a fight as much as, like, using it prior to the enemy getting to you. So if you're in position where you're just waiting for them to come to you, like hiding behind a wall or some shit, swap, swap, swap until they get to you. That way you start off the battle with that extra 25% counter chance plus the crit chance. Can really give you a nice advantageous start to your battle. Did you see the double daggers that I uh, I pulled it up earlier today? Not the time. Need need power up. Oh right, you do have to do the thing. That's fair. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah. That's true. Fuck, I didn't think about that. Okay. Shoot. Kind of, that, that throws it off the table, doesn't it? Um, let me co-turn this contract in. Go my reward. Why are you guys back again? Fuck off. Uh. Not the time. Need power. Need power. Seal and fencer stance plus jolt. Yeah. Wasting a turn to swap. Not such a good idea at that point. 
Next contract, some mysterious glow to take us back into the undead. I do need to sell this. I forgot to sell that. Right, sell off the stardust. Offload and sell that too. Do I need any lockpicks? Okay. Uh, we have one iron ingots. We'll need, what, three more after this? Move that, move this. Just a couple more coins. Offload. Chat, I feel like the next dungeon should have a secret room. I just feel it. I'm hoping to call it out. If it doesn't actually work in my favor, then so be it. But maybe if we tweak the game, you know, send our brain energy, brain energy waves over to the game, they'll be like, all right, we'll do you a solid favor. We'll hook you up, right? Let's hope that's the case. I will rest up for one day so we can knock out the very next contract. Wait, 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 it leveled down? What do you mean? What leveled down? Fencer stands almost gives me the same counter percent anyway. I guess that's true. That's very, very true. I, I keep on forgetting it does give you that. I even talked about it, but yeah, it, it gives you so much counter chance anyway. Uh, what level down? Well, two secret rooms. Why only one? <laughs> yeah, why settle for one? The next dungeon is going to have two secret rooms. Guarantee it. Um, a little bit more food for us. I'll grab up uh, another one of these. It's one. Those are going to be fine. Uh, hopefully the drumstick doesn't spoil on us. You know what? Let's just sell it and just buy another one. Just in case. We have to go straight south, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm thirsty. Oh, I'm thirsty, Chet. I also want to get a uh, prayer buff. We're level eight. We want to try to get to some of the more experience. Good job. I'm going to check something real quick. What's our fortitude at? 10%? Oh, easy peasy. Where did we get 10% fortitude from? Do I have a... Passive ability? It wasn't these, I don't think. Oh. Never mind. No, we're we're gonna need, definitely need more fortitude. Um We'll probably do what we did before. We'll do some say uh some save scumming. Get the Amber Amulet enchanted with some more fortitude. It's going to take us probably like 30 minutes to do that. But I'd rather not drop my weapons. Picking up a sword and a shield is just fucking annoying. It's the worst. Uh, the dungeon. Nope, I thought it was the undead. No, uh, no, you weren't. You're good. You're good. Not that I know of. I mean, it could be possibly. I've had it happen before. It happens very rarely where it downgrades. And you even get it, if it, even, if it downgrades, you get less money for it too, which is stupid. It's like, all right, come on, guys. What I would rather have it downgrade than upgrade. If you're not ready for the upgraded dungeon. Uh, let's see here. We've already had those before. Oh, right. Um, offload that on. Wardrobe, take the jelly beans. Heh <laughs> heh. 
<laughs> Dummy! Oh, shocks to be you! Uh oh. I don't know why, but it seems like this one corner here. If you guys happen to just you know happen to notice, when he was blowing up, it should have been red everywhere. But these two spaces here were open, which is good for us. So we didn't get blown up on. Here's Johnny. Got another bandage. Disenchanting, uh, dead. Oh, never mind. It, uh, it was willpower that gives fortitude. Oh, was it? Yeah, it is. A little bit of fortitude goes a long way. I was hoping we were getting fortitude naturally from something, but yeah, you see how well that worked. We'll take the accuracy over the counter chance of control resistance. Okay, so let's uh, do this cool. Okay. We haven't read it yet. What else haven't we read? Nothing. Boss Chambers. Let me see what we got in here. So now our accuracy is up to 87 plus we're Valmir. So technically accuracy isn't a problem. Oh, it's the brood mother. Okay, she missed on her laceration. Now she's gonna deflect next. Trying to injure her body. Eh. Another enchanting scroll. Fantastic. Oh. Okay, offload everything. We'll come back for it. All right. That's it. That this is a super small dungeon. Basically looted everything here. Uh, ritual candles. I can grab those after we get our backpack. All right, backpack time. Move. ID scroll. I can use that. Stone skin. Then ritual candles. And whatever the hell else we left over here. Cool. Let's get out of here, chats. Another dungeon completed. And then it's undead. I thought that said four skulls. I was gonna be so pissed. I'm like, oh shit, it upgraded chat. Oh boy. 
Another one? What is up with the bots today, bro? They're out in droves. Bots did a change tic tac and come now in, in piecemeal. Right. Uh, you forgot your. Oh my god, I've got my cape. Thank you. <laughs> Good thing I read chat. Goodness. Um, what's with this potion? Look, only OP potions? I don't know, man. You gotta get lucky on something. Oh shit. What am I gonna do about this? Eat. Throw that away. Reorganize. Uh, I can get rid of two items. 301. That's not gonna sell very high, is it? Eh. Yeah, probably not. If it was in better condition, maybe. Uh, the bots recognize quality streams. There you go, Flavius. That's right. That's right. Quality. This is a quality production. Professional. I hear a squeaking of my door. Where is it? Apparently nobody. They squeaked the door and... Not even coming in. Bet you my daughter's trying to scare me. We can't have that happen. Where are we at? The winery? So we have this identified, unidentified ring. We'll take a look. Maybe it's cursed. Maybe it is not. We shall see. I still think the accuracy is a little bit better, but if we get life drain, I will use it for sure. Alright, so stone skin, we're gonna offload him. Bam. Pop inside. Have a chat. Buy two more ID scrolls. We're gonna use the first one. Son of a gun, it's not good. Okay. Oh, that sucks. Buy two of these. Never works out in our favor. What do you have got? I don't know why I even came to talk to him. Pointless. Okay. So we want to sell this, this, the ring, the ring, that. Sell this, sell that, sell this. Oh, right. What is in my backpack? A lot of stuff. Bro, I got too many books. This is ridiculous. Okay, let me go turn my contract in and we'll use the gold that we get from here to purchase new items. Alright, same idea. We're just going to rest up. Offload. Repair of the gear. It's probably not that bad. And... Yeah, stick. And we're still... Oh my god, these dungeons have been super small, chat. We are not leveling up as quickly as I would like. Uh, at this rate, though, if this is finished and we're still not level 10, we're heading down to Brid. It's not early, technically. I don't know why I did that. Don't even ask me any questions. <laughs> so stupid. Um, zero o'clock should be fine. And now we're going to be hungry, so now I can buy the thing that I bought and sold last time. One, two, and three. Maybe four. Um, what the hilly turtle? God dang it! You always gotta do this to me. I don't know why it's still there. I gotta make that sucker like 10 grand. See if you really want to spend on it then. Um, the boss recognizes quality. Uh, dance for us content, man. Almost got hit by lightning and stone shard. What happened to any of you? No! I mean, almost, but never. Hilly turtle dance? Fucking shit. You just gave the 
the barman a little tip. That's what it is. Just a little tip. Say, hey, here you go. A little something on the side for keeping me fed and sheltered. Hilly churl, silly churl, hilly billy, silly churl. Ooh, there you go. That's all you get, man. Stop. I'm going to have to make that even more expensive. Because it's silly. It's too silly for my own good. Uh, lightning one tile away from Derwin. I think that's about the only thing I've had was one tile away. But I've always been speed hacking while walking through. So who knows? I might have gotten struck without really knowing it. But as far as I can tell, somebody came in our chat once before saying that the lightning struck exactly on their tile. That they didn't take any damage. Because that's always been my concern. Do you take damage? Like wearing full metal? Is it, a, is it a bad idea? You're just a lightning rod there? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But, yeah. Oh, and when we get down to Bryn, should we buy a brand new axe? I don't know what axe to use after this. I think this one's going to be carrying us through Amity. Because I don't want to get something with high, with high, um, with a high fumble chance. Like our fumble chance is already 20. Oh, well, it's less than that, but it's already at 21%. I want our fumble to be much, much lower than that. This fumbling sucks. Me, bro. I was struck. It was so was Soren. So apparently I was talking about Soren this whole time. Laugh at Soren for being a lightning rod who conducts all of the, uh, the lightning strikes, okay? He said it was me, bro. Uh, you should get a massive buff as an electromancer. If you get struck by lightning, it just empowers you for two, for like a full day, 2,800 turns. Dude, that'd be sick. It's already silly enough that you get empowered when you see lightning strikes with this one here. Natural lightning strikes occurring within vision will grant you 10% electromagnetic power for 240 turns. But being wet increases your shock, sorry, decreases your shock resistance on top of increasing your goddamn backfire chance to electromagnetic spells. So it's kind of like, fuck, I saw a lightning bolt, but that just means I'm going to kill myself faster. Thanks, game. Thanks. Talk about a glass cannon. Ridiculous. Like, I don't know how else you would make that work, but I mean, I... Oh, you guys remember last week? I think it was last week. Where we played around a little bit on our Electromatic uh, Mage. I completely forgot about, ch about Ball Lightning. I have it, but I forgot to use it. So those Tier 4s would have been a lot easier had I just placed the ball lightning in the way of all the mobs that were trying to kill us. And we would have been fine. But no. I forgot it was a thing. So that's my bad. <gasps> Fucking sacred room! Let's go! Oh my god, it's about time and it feels good. It's the wrong dungeon, but I'll take it. Hey, there's the axe we're looking for. What do ye have for me? Got an enchanting scroll, got some earrings, nothing. By the way, chat, I am this close to catching up on the One Piece anime. I read the manga and I'm all caught up on that, but fucking cannot wait to see Luffy blasting Kaido. Uh, not cursed? Are you kidding me right now? Okay, well, offload everything. We'll we'll figure it out later. I also gotta offload my um swap this around. Hello. Uh drop that. Bam! 
He still got us with it. Unfortunately. Hold it! Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, just don't be wet. I never go out in the rain as Electromancer Mage as a spell sword. It's the best. Um, does it work? Wait, does it work if you call it for every dungeon? Um. Oh, you mean calling it for the secret dungeon? No, I don't think so. It didn't work. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you have to call it three dungeons in advance. <laughs> We're gonna get a secret room three dungeons from now. And then the game's like, okay, we can do that. That's what I'm gonna do from now on. Uh, not a bad, oh, that's not a bad sword at all. The Footman 200. If only we were a uh, swordsman, I'd be excited. I mean, this bitter axe, we could have used that so long ago. We had, I'm pretty sure we had to buy this one. It was a well invested uh, purchase, though. He's going to do that. And then we're going to flip the script on him by doing number six. You got me bleed. Oh, no. Take care of that. I counterattacked. And he's dead. Uh, but the guy. I love fighting zombies. Sometimes. They're just giant meat shields. It's great. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, I got two of them. Ugh. One, two, three, four. All oh, the doors closed. Oh, he dazed us. What did he have? Bearded axe, of course. They're dropping bearded axes now, chat. Probably read chat about now, eh? What's going on here, chat? What's going on? Uh, then the next dungeon doesn't have a secret room. There you go. Reverse psychology, that shit. Uh, the headpiece is 11 protection. Might be worth using because it's enchanted. Ah, <sighs> fair. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, this one does have more control resistance, which would get us through the troll fight much easier. Oh, we we'll grab that. Boss fight. What you going? What you going to do when the boss comes for you? Okay, pointless to run away from him. May as well come right up and do his shit. Oh, he still got me with that. Bitch. I don't know how my immunity stayed so freaking high. Normally around this time in the game, if I don't eat enough vegetables and fruits and all that, my immunity is just, like, just bottomed out. I haven't done anything differently, I don't think. We got here. Offload. Again, we'll have to come back for it. Wow, what is it? Wow, what is that? I don't know. Uh, what am I gonna do? What's going on here? Holy cow. Okay, chat. Let's figure this out here. So this dungeon is explored. 
I am going to offload healing supplies and just grab everything else. So this door is closed. Okay. All right. All right. Healing supplies. Just toss them over here. At this, at this rate, we don't really need the money, right? Okay. So first and foremost, the backpack. Uh, we're gonna open the backpack, move this in, put that up, reorganize. Take a quick look around. Is fortitude for the troll? Yeah, it's fortitude. So you don't drop your weapons, exactly it. That's exactly it. You have two bones in your two bone hands. Yeah, I gotta get rid of those. Uh, cursed with weapon damage. I mean, so long as it's cursed with something, I think that'd be fucking awesome. But we'll see. We'll see. So, unidentified headgear. Need that. Did I fill this up yet? No. Put that. Move the enchanting scroll. Two teeth over. Oh, this is garbage. Pointless having it. Uh, grab, grab, grab. Double check. Oh, there's another corpse. Put that up. Okay, nothing there. Sword, short sword. And then head down to the boss. I could probably carry the other the, some of the healing supplies with me now. Cloth scraps, don't need that. Don't need this. Agates. Crowns. And there's a potion. Carved topaz and a silver plate. So eat some food. Toss that food away. Silver plates and I think remove that for the cart. Oh shit, in two spots. What else? Another gold tooth. Oh, apparently I dropped too much stuff. Good deal. They were fully uh maxed out now. We have an enchanting scroll, no ID scrolls. Unless there's one on the ground that I missed. I think it was only cleansing scrolls. Right? Disenchanting, yeah. Okay, cool. Fantastic! Whoa, my god, I'm excited to find out what we got, chat! Bring it the frick on. Oh, we, uh, we're not gonna get attacked by anybody. It is cursed. Mm. I might not need to go through the whole enchantment process. Just a little bit of fortitude to prevent our buckler from constantly being dropped. But we could use this. Chats, what do you think we got? It wasn't weapon damage. It's not crit chance. Crit chance would have been good, too, because of the fact that we're going full vitality. I wouldn't mind losing 21 HP. Doesn't matter, then. Uh, let's see here. Bleed. Life drain, baby girl? Come here. Let's go, dude. We got the life drain. It's all good. Let's go. I'm digging it. We did it. We did it, chat. We fucking did it. Sword, good day to you. Thanks for being here. You have a wonderful day, bro. I'll see you tomorrow. We shouldn't die. We have the life drain now, bro. Oh, that feels good. Real good. I'm excited. We're going to have to go down to Brynn after this, I think. Because uh, we just completed all the, ma the Manshire contracts yet again. And we're still uh, quite a bit... Uh, quite a ways away from from uh, leveling up to level 10. So it's going to be uh, Bryn next. Okie dokie. It is time to get everything identified. Find out what we're working with here. Hello, mister. Um, I know we're not going to be able to sell everything. So sell, sell. Identifier... 
Bumble reduct magical power. Really? Whatever. We'll still use it. It's fine. We got a decrease in fumble chance. I guess that's good enough. What was the other one that we had? We had spell energy costs. Oh, either way, they were both trash. Forgot that we got negative spell energy costs on this one. So stupid, but okay. Uh, next up would be this one. Health restoration. Energy restoration. Oh, it does have more control resistance. Well, shit. Is it worth repairing it, though? Because... Do I want to replace this with the ear guards, is the question. What are the ear guards comparatively? I'll look them up real quick. I have the, uh, the website pulled up. Um, armor, armor, ear guards. Or... Then the ear guards are 12 protection, right? Like, how much of a difference is it? Is it worth it? Did I pass them? Oh, okay. So the ear guards are 20 physical. And this one here is 15. So it's 5% more physical reduction. 10 crushing compared to 5 slash. 20 and 20 versus... Uh, where is that? 20 and 35. So yeah, the ear guards are still better. God dang it. Oh my god, ear guards give you fortitude? That's a... I didn't never notice that. Okay, that's cool. So... I'm gonna have to figure this out. Uh, use it on the potion. Bad trip yet again. Use it on the potion. Accuracy. I can sell the accuracy one. Uh, use it on the necklace with health, restoration, and health. And then use this on the ring, and the ring comes with health. Okay. Oh, oh, one more, one more, one more. Uh, energy. I don't know what mine has. Rending resistance. Uh, rending resistance is gonna be better against the troll. Sell the other one off. Golden cup. Right, he's got 1,500 gold on him. Sell the energy. Sell the golden cup. Sell, sell, sell. I'm probably just going to hold on to these. I never know if I'm going to need something like this. Because both of these are pretty dope. I mean, you get a little bit of accuracy. Decrease your fumble chance. This is awesome. They both decrease your fumble by the exact same amount. But this one also gives you health and health restoration. I'll be fucking just rocking health. Uh, spell energy cost. Pointless to have that one. Open my backpack. Hopefully nobody closes the shop. Sell, 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 sell. All right, moving on to the repair guy. Please stay open. What are you selling? Okay. Is it worth six hundred fifty-one? We have a lot of cash on us. It would only be useful for one dungeon and a troll fight, and then we're selling it off. Is the 5% additional really worth everything else? What do you guys think? Should I get, should I do it? Okay, so let's pick up our purses. One, two, three, five, and six. Then we have to pick up our, uh, or turn our contract in. Got my reward. We're now Amity here. Merge. Probably worth it since the ear guards are free anyway. Okay. Let's see if I can make it. Uh, I guess it will help us at least get through 
the next dungeon. And technically, after we sell those ones off, it's like spending only about 400 crowns on that. So reorganize. So enchanting scrolls, we're just going to leave those behind. Amber Amulet, leave that. A vivifying Essence, we're going to take those with us. I'm going to take that, this. Offload. Maybe we should take Potion of Rage. Use the frailness and the bad trip on the boss. So accuracy I don't want. Those are the two bad trips. That's frailness. Rage for us. Uh, go ahead and offload this necklace. Take that one. Between the two of them. Probably sell this one. And I can keep the stone skins there because I got to go down to Bryn. So let's see here. Grab that. Amethyst Pendant. I'm going to grab all the good books first. Open. Move, move, move. Eh, no matter where you look at it, we can only carry so much. So two more books. One of these folios, but that's 200. That's 120. That's 120. Jesus. Okay, this is not one of these folios. There we go. Uh, yeah. Baron's Ring. Otherwise, it's just a bunch of books that I can't do anything quite with yet. Cool. Let's go down. Give this guy some money. Here's your thousand. Let's go. We'll also get the Gwinnels, our free Gwinnels, make sure we're going to live. Because, you know, get out of jail free card, that's a Gwinnels. First stop, going to sell these books off. A look to sell. 1,200, 12,000 gold, I should say. Uh, the next stop, we're going to go to the inn. We're going to steal the uh, golden candle candelabrum. I hate saying it, Chad, because I'm so used to saying it one way that it sounds really awkward every time I say it. The next stop up would be the, the blacksmith bailiff. Still the elven ice wine from him. Oh, and this guy too. I want to steal from this guy. I like dope with his fucking pointy hat though. You guys gotta admit. Right, go to bed, please. Call that loot? What is this? All right, next up, where should we go? Car Blacksmith. Oh my god, I gotta get there quickly before he wakes up. Oh, no, don't wake up. Well, hell, if he wakes up, it's still fine. <clears throat> oh, shit, don't shout at him. Not that that wakes him up, but still scares me. 
I'm not going to steal this stuff. We're just going to put this here. So that way we know we stole this stuff, but not the other stuff. Cool. Um, Next stop's up. We have to go over. We have to pick up the spider blood flask. We're going to pick up a net, a claw trap, because that's going to help us kill the boss. I didn't steal anything. Stop asking. Repaired all my gear, right? No, I did not. I'm dumb. Let's go do that too. Baron. Go do his mission. What you selling? Take a spider blood flask, take a smoke bomb. I forgot to sell those two books, Chad. I'm dumb. You have Paragorg. If I take the Paragoric, I can't use the Potion of Rage, so I kind of got to, like, pick and choose. There we go. And we'll head down the stairs. Let's see. Journal page. Journal. Oh, shit. Journal page. Then I need to... Those over. Read. Oops. Read. And read. Beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Now let's head over this way. Or we're going to get our gear repaired. One of these carpenters. Oh, wait. I don't want to. Uh, no, no, no. I got a better idea. Better idea. This guy right in here. And then we sell that off to him. Bam. Still got 1380. Pretty solid. Okay, so we got plenty of cash now. I still, I think we're hovering around 1200 or 12,000, right? Yeah, so we're hovering around 12,000, even after the things that we purchased. So, we got two VVs. I do have to offload my money. I don't want to offload it here. Okay, so... Two, four. I'll keep the 2,000 on me. Now for this boss, we have Rage. I'm probably gonna throw a smoke bomb. I won't use that one. I won't use the Paragoric on this particular boss. We'll use the bad trip. Toss one of the other bad trips off. We'll use Frailness. I don't know how well it's gonna work against him. So we'll use Rage for our damage in particular. Acid Bath. Take Varen's ring and offload it. Take the Mori and offload that. So then we have two VVs, a Gwinnell's Frailness, Bad Trip, as well as Rage Potion for us. And then we talk to old Burn here. We are going to grab up a net and a claw trap. Read. Offload. 
So now our life drain should be at 15% now that this weapon's repaired. 20 damage and 15% life drain. Over here, grab up some healing supplies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Because I have a feeling we're going to be getting bled a lot. One, two, one, and two. Buy an ID scroll, offload. Buy an ID scroll and offload. Fantastic. I think we're ready to go. Uh, immunity is good. Still at 121%. I'm excited. I think we got this, though. Should be a pretty easy run. We have the Gwinnels for the, uh, whole get out of jail free card. Gear has been repaired. Want to run a bed. And sleep until like 2300. Open this up. I still got those two dang books. I got to get rid of those. Uh, do you think there will ever be... Do you think they will ever give us some healing uh, spells? Maybe. But I don't know. Like that might be too much for the game. Like break the whole mechanics of it all. I don't know. It'd be interesting if if in the Chronomancy one, it's not necessarily a heal as much as it is reverses the time on your character. So if you get injured, it will revert to um, a healthier body state. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, revert the last hit. That'd be even better. Yeah. I'd like that a lot. Um... Just taking stock here, chat. So I definitely need food, which I kind of forgot to grab. What are you selling? I will just eat something real quick. Just to make sure we're filled up. And then we'll get a, a smoked ham. Contracts, infested catacomb. Straight north. We'll also get ourselves a prayer buff. May as well. Got water. I don't know. We should have plenty of healing. Um, I think we've played our cards right. We should be fine. All right. Offload those books. We'll sell those later. Uh, uh, or a life drain spell with some kind of vampiric. Which one would be? Which one could we say va vampiric? None of these scream vampiric. It'd be nice if they had something like that. Like you could end up being, or doing something similar to the vampires. I I, I would enjoy that. I don't, I really am. I'm, I'm curious. Like, there's all these spells. So there's there's so much more they, uh, work they got to put in to kind of putting those uh, like yeah, putting those spells into the game, and then figuring out how to get multiple mage characters to utilize those spells. Cause you know damn well they're going to. You're gonna see like four or five other fucking mages out there. They're just gonna wreck our face. It's just gonna be horrible. Not looking forward to that. Maybe Venomancy, but it's a bit of a stretch. We'll have to see. I mean, it'd be, I said, it'd be awesome. I mean, why not, right? Okay. So the things we got to work on start off like this. We have as much protection as possible. Um, this is, again, the worst place to start, especially on a tier three like this. If these guys see me, they aggro everybody from four rooms away. If this guy sees me, the same idea. I'm going to go this way first. Oh my god, it's the worst enemy. I hate these dudes. Oh my god. 
around. He should be right in front of us, though. And he's probably going to pull me. He missed. The lick? You don't, you don't expect that lick to do what it does. Yeah, of course, why wouldn't you... I fucking hate this guy. Sometimes he's worse than the Impaler. What's my control res and move res? 27, 25. It's just, it's not enough. Ridiculous. Oh, I said I wasn't going to be looting anything. Let me stop this. I got to use up as much of my uh, vigor as possible. Look who it is! Senior Dickhead! Okay. Stop looting. You freaking loot whore. Stop. Look who it is! The second favorite enemy of this freaking dungeon. It's what I love to see. Okay. Is that another one? Ah, uh, who else am I facing? Come on, guys. Just in case, let's grab up two nets. Oh my god, bro. I'm getting tossed around like a rag doll, y'all. What's going on here? We got second win to proc. Goodness. Armored combat. Let's go for unyielding defense. Give me a little bit more defensive maneuvers to utilize. Goodness gracious. Grab up these two. Uh, it's four out of tw uh, one. What's that one? Five. That's crazy, dog. Oh, my problem is with uh, with life drain is already too strong right now with no other way to heal quickly other than the potion. That's um, yeah, I like that with most enemies have abilities that you can just get uh, that you can get as well. Yeah. And for enemy mages, I fear venomancy and cryomancers already. Oh, just, could you imagine they get you poison and you get a walk? Or try to get closer to him by dashing. Now, hopefully, that's the hardest enemies we face in the entire dungeon. Oh, fans. I gotta stop looting. Oh my god, what are you doing? Stop looting. I already said. <sighs> okay, well, here we go, chat. There's two floors. Let's go south first. Okay, yeah, I can handle this.
Yeah, I can I can handle that. That's fine. Right. Stop looting. What are you doing? Don't be dumb. Okay, now that we know where the boss is located, let me clear a couple of side rooms. A rat? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to waste, I didn't want to waste any more of my healing. Okay, so the, I don't want to worry about anybody else coming from that side. They won't hear us. Drink some water. Okay, okay. Thank you. I want a bandage? Taking it. And then one more side room here. Uh, you can you can find the Yarrow Blade in cemeteries or only in single graves or empty tiles. Um, I think anywhere, any grave has a chance. Oh my god! There's the bleed we don't want. Fucking bitch. Okay, good. Um, all right. So now it should just be us and whatever the hell's in his boss chamber. Now this is going to be a bad spot for bosses because, yeah, as you guys probably already know, depending on where that boss is standing, I could probably aggro everything. And now I got to try to somehow manage that. It's going to be a lot of fucking fun. Shits. Can that bleed just go away by itself? I'm running out of healing supplies. I'm on my pain levels, 6%. Okay, so we have, we have him to work with. Who else? Is it just going to be you coming to me? That's fantastic. Oh, crap. Come on. Man. How am I supposed to use my claw trap when y'all just keep showing the fuck up? You know what I'm saying? The bleeds, bro. Spot to be, chat. 
But he's almost dead. Let's go. All righty then. I did drop something, right? I dropped like a a pain med somewhere, didn't I? Thought I did. I don't know where at though. I dropped it upstairs, didn't I? Well, we're out of healing supplies. I'm probably gonna have to make a trip back to town because this dungeon's been a pain in the ass already. Another warfare treaty for. Wait, that, that, I don't think there can be any secret rooms down here, but just in case. Oh. Okay, folio, wardrobe. Okay. Oh, we already know that's uh, Electro's one. Yeah. Oh, those are for bleeds. I think if we we would have been in a lot of trouble if we did not have. Um, a life drain on us. Oh my god, let's go. I'm not going to use it, but I like it. That's a lot of money right there. So we now we have uh, the range treaties too. Or sorry, range treaties four, on top of the two of the uh, warfare treaties. It's good stuff. Make sure we're not missing anything here. I may still have to do two trips. This is looking like a lot of loot. Holy cow! Another one. This is uh, Treaties 2. Yeah, this is going to take a couple trips, chat. Another? Wow, bro. That's crazy. I mean, I would love to have something different. But I can make do. It's fine. It's still money in my pocket. What's in here? Two of them? Get their attention. Shelf. Another paragoric. That's fantastic. Wow. Bell toller. Would you drop an ID scroll? Oops. Oh, I didn't even use these. <laughs> I'm dumb. I brought all these potions, chat, to be better at the game just to not use them. It's par for the course, this rate. Uh, a book we have yet to read. And another enchanting scroll. Hell yeah, good stuff. Now we still have the upstairs to loot. This might, again, this could be a couple trip dungeon. 100%. Apple, I wanna eat that. Oh, this guy. Shit, I was going to do this differently, but okay.
There we go. We're in pain again. Still don't have any pain meds. Another book. Another book. Another ID scroll. Another VV. Shelf's gonna be empty. Now right, we got spool of threads, some Jolly Ranchers. Cool, that is the dungeon fully explored. So let's see what we can make happen here. Um, I need to grab my backpack wherever I put it down at. Right there. Open, move. Uh, move, move. Healing supplies are cheap enough. So let's go ahead and offload like right here. I still have to dig the graves up too. Did we not level up? No, we did level nine. Spool of thread. Ah, uh, keep the throwing us behind. Okay, I kind of made a mistake. Let me just offload everything outside first. And then come back in and finish looting, otherwise we're going to make multiple trips for no reason at all. Did I drop my money on the ground? Like a dipshit? I did. Gotta grab that Warfare Treaty 4. Next room. And like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm double checking too, because I was skipping some uh, some places. Athletics four. For kicks and giggles, let's see what's inside of here. Some kind of holy magic that uh, some, kind of, some kind of holy magic that, that uh, focuses on buffing your character and or debuffing enemies would be awesome as well. Roush, what's up? Welcome. Oh, we're down here, uh, level nine, bro. We're sitting here in the uh, proselyte dungeon. Got a lot of loot. Oh, my boots got fucked up. Holy cow! I didn't even notice. Wow, that's crazy. It tore me up, chat. Everything was fully repaired before I came in here, too. That's insane. This could be an expensive water bill, you know what I'm saying? But we have plenty of books, high tier books at that. We have two copies of Range Treaties 4 and two copies of Range Treaty, or sorry, Warfare Treaties 4. Uh, 
uh, axes, pyro, altar bell, vivifying, hourglass, ornate ink bot, ID scroll. That should be it. Let's get out of here. Um, as far as the two trips are concerned, I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll take what I can. It's the good stuff, and then the rest of it, we can always come back up here and hopefully loot it at a, like a different time. Okay, I'm going to move the books, the things I actually want to take with me, down here. Singular items are nice. Oh, the capes coming with us. Gwinnels, vivifying, potion, chanting, vivifying, reorganize. Yes. Yes. Sensor, deer antlers, bronze, sensor. That's not too bad. Everything else can. Yeah, silver class maybe. Holy hell, it's just too many items here. <laughs> Goodness. These two, four, four. Orning ink pot. I want that. Painkilling can stay, Paragor can come. Uh, let's see here. It's just way too much loot. All right, let me let me dig some graves up. Say good morning, affiliate. <laughs> good morning. Good morning to everybody. How are you doing today, Roche? Let me make sure my hands, they're a little rough. Sleepy, you got heartburned? Gross. Yeah, I'm a little sleepy too. I woke up at like 4.30. Supposed to be awake at, uh, you know, 6. Oh, no more healing stuff. Rest that off. Oh, and also, Roush, we got a a cursed whatever axe this is. Those are fancy. Um, less protection, less physical resistance. You get nature resistance, rending, bleed. You get some dodge. Not bad. Not what we're going to be using, though. Coin. I guess I could probably offload all the coin here. Let me just open. Cool. Get out of here. That's not a bad first haul for our dungeon. I just wish we were level 10 so we can take on the troll right now. Um, I'm assuming one more dungeon. I really don't want to take on the undead at the moment. Shouldn't be too bad though, right? Four thirty. What? I don't know. I just woke up. Like I think I was dreaming some weird shit, and then I woke up and I was like, "Go back to bed." And my brain said, "It's probably daytime. Get up, take a piss." I was like, "All right, I'll do that." And I look at my clock, and I'm like, "It's four thirty." Ugh. And then of course your brain does not want to stop. It's like you're awake, bro. You may as well stay awake. And the stupidest thing is you'll stay awake for the next hour and a half and you're like, I'm just going to lay my eyes to rest because now I'm tired. And then you lay down to rest and it's like 30 minutes before you have to wake up. So you never get enough sleep in that next 30 minutes. Then your alarm goes off. You're like, I don't even want to deal with this right now. So yeah, it's whatever. Okay, let me offload potions and such. We'll pick those up here in a moment. Chanting scrolls. I don't really have a place for them yet, but I normally put them over here in the corner. 
offload, offload, move that, move this, offload. Alright, 850 crowns, so now we gotta go through and repair everything. Uh, I don't want to have 2,000 coin on me, though I'm gonna have to, where's my purse set? There's like no empty purses? Bro, I need to buy a purse. <laughs> We're not going to have enough room for this. Like at all. There's too much money. I'll have enough to repair and oh my goodness. This is cool. I'm not really complaining. It's just a lot of money. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it all. Uh, let's see. Tier 4. So tier four, tier four, tier four, tier four. Absolutely nutty. This guy's gonna be broke. 100% guarantee it. Hey, bro. How's it going? Guess what I got? I got, oh, don't worry. I got another one. <laughs> you think that's it? No, I got another. Oh, you still thought that was all I had? <laughs> Joke's on you, bro. I got more. So, <laughs> that dungeon more than paid for its way, for sure. Goodness. Let's go. How is my immunity? It's probably low. Eh, it's not too bad. 101. I'll eat some veggies. One, two, three. These are fruits. I don't want to hear no excuses. Eat, eat. All right. So next stop is to repair our gear. We'll go get that taken care of. Yeah. Don't laugh at me. It's stupid. Um, first stop here. Repair all the like cloth related items. Boom. And boom. What do you got? Hey, he took a little bit of our cash, but that's not too bad. Made it all back. The ornate ink pot, that's gonna be part of our, you know, candelabrum, ornate ink pot, and uh, elven ice wine. So whenever this guy opens up his inventory, we can upgrade our weapon. So I'll slap that inside of the chest. Oh, baby. Sweet. Good stuff. Everything's repaired, right? I'm guessing Undead. Undead's next. As long as we're not in the Undead too long to where it levels us up to level 11. This is not a big deal, but I don't want to be level 11 by the time we're uh, doing the, the troll fight. want to do it at level 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Talk to him. We need another purse, please. Opens the purse. One, two. Two IT scrolls. Offload. Okay. So we have healing supplies. We got bandages. I got splints. Everything's repaired. We have health for days. Now, we got to find out what we're facing. Restless Crypt, so that's going to be... It's going to be a caster. Okay. So I can go there kind of like less prepared. I'll bring a Paragoric and a Smoke Bomb for the boss. That'll help me with my pain. Gwinnels for the just in case. And two VVs again, just in case. 
But otherwise, we should be good. And I'm going to offload a few coin. I'm not going to need that much. My The odds are we're going to probably fill our inventory up with coin anyway. I'm hoping for a small undead dungeon. Thirteen fifty, son of a gun. Fifteen hundred, there we go. All right, so we're gonna eat some of the lentil soup first. Sell that off, reorganize. Now I want vegetable ragout, potatoes and mushrooms, and a pretzel. Flapperjacks, what's up? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that says. How am I moving so fast, Quinn? Uh, good question. We're, uh, caliber, whoop, whoop, 34 months, my guy. You got two more left. I gotta get you a present, bro. Uh, we're gonna do, uh, happy affiliate anniversary. How? Oh, is that what you guys were talking about? How do you know it's my affiliate anniversary? Where the fuck does it say that at? That's what you guys were congratulating me about this whole time. I was like, I don't know. Yeah. Happy, happy. What of? <laughs> it told you? It didn't tell me. How the fuck am I supposed to know if it doesn't tell me? This is good morning affiliate. I was like, I was like, yeah. That's weird. Why are you guys saying that? But okay. <laughs> this whole time? So stupid. I had no idea, you guys. <laughs> I didn't just log in today to do stream. It was like, hey, by the way, if you didn't know. So we made affiliate this time last year, huh? 421 or close to at least. Interesting. Nice. That's awesome. Uh, but no, back to Quinn's question. Uh, we're using Cheat Engine. And uh, it didn't sell Abaddon, huh? Interesting. But yeah, Quinn, we're using Cheat Engine. Very simple. Easy to use program. You just go to the, you just Google search cheat engine. It's usually the very first link uh, when you Google it. It's just cheatengine.org. Download the program. Uh, it's super simple to use. You'll see that there's a um, the very top left of the screen. There'll be a uh, computer monitor with like a magnifying glass. You click that. You associate. Uh, Basically, you're selecting a process and you're selecting stone chart as the process, right? Because we need a, a target. And once you have the process selected in the middle right side of the screen, you'll see there's a uh, little tab that says enable speed hack. And you check mark that you can set it up to like three, which is what I'm at right now. But yeah, definitely worth it if you want to get through stone chart a little bit quicker. But it's always fun to see the different countries and the folks come from because for some reason the message is always in the language from the viewer. Okay, stupid Twitch. <laughs> um, we should be good to go though, chat. I just don't know exactly where we're going yet. I'm sure it's gonna be super far away though, knowing how this always works. Restless crypt. Holy balls, bro. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. I'm gonna have to go across the water. Ugh, that's dumb. Well, what else? I guess we're taking a trip. I bet you it only gave us two days to do this. Three days? Bro, it's gonna take three days to get there. What? You calling me a clown, bro? I mean, I get it. Listen, don't know my own anniversary. <laughs> well, time to get walking, bro. That's so stupid. I've got so man. How do you, oh. I should have known we were gonna get long, like like dungeons that were super far away. Considering where these other ones spawned. Oh yeah, they screwed us over, chat. Son of a gun. Three days. 
That was the other thing. We were talking about, like, the, the caravan communication thing. And I was like, well, I'm also excited about the fact that you can increase how much time they give you to complete dungeons. This is one of the instances as to why we need more days. They give us five fucking days to do Osberg dungeons, for crying out loud. Over here, I'm Brenda like, yeah, by the way, good luck. It'll take you half a day to get there. I guarantee you my, my vigor's gonna be gone by the time we get there. Plus, I gotta sit next to a fire, because we're gonna cross the river. I guarantee it. It's far enough out. It is, right? Yeah, so stupid. Absolutely silly. I would love to break that. Actually, I could probably do that. Let's just do it right now. Uh, reorganize. We'll make a fire. Alright, so we made it here, and what? So starting from the 1,500 points that we had... That's like 700 points away. Alright, let's go make a fire. At least get it down to like one stack, possibly. There we go. Alright, y'all, here goes nothing. Oh, I'm clowning the game that travel. Oh, I got you clowning the game. Not me. Oh, it feels so good having a uh, shrine to prayer at right beside Osbrook. I mean, yeah, I'm still I use them, but it's not like something I have to have. He's going to do that. I'm going to boom. And then I'm going to boom. Why is he so strong? Why do you gotta be like that? I should have blocked it first. I don't know what I was thinking. What did I take with me? Paragoric? Smoke bomb, okay. That's for the boss, though. All right, we're not gonna we're not gonna loot. We're not gonna loot, chat. Stop looting, please. You can come to me. Oh my god. Oh my god, the bleeds. Oh my god, the bleeds. What are you doing with your life? I did not mean to step there, bro. All right, well. Um, I should probably pop that Paragoric sooner rather than later, eh? Frickin' hell. Is he gonna chase me down? Keep an eye on the healing. Down to three bandages, though. It's ridiculous. Maybe I can get some bandages here, but no. In pain again, chat. I should have brought alcohol too. Two of them? Son of a gun. Fall back.
Okay. Why are you still alive? I don't know where to go from here in terms of like skills and abilities. Dang, bro. All right, what are we down to healing supplies wise? Not great, not great. How many bandages? Three. No, four. Okay, I had more bandages than I thought. Uh, best shrine is always right next to an undead dungeon. The only dungeon you really want it. Uh, athletics is always nice. We were going to do athletics a little bit later. I don't know if I want to do the athletics now. Because uh, the build is going to be, I believe, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen is what I was thinking. But I don't know. Do I want Shield Bash right now or nah? Right, did I count that right? We have the five. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, I counted that right. Uh, we don't, we don't really need that until we hit uh, Amity. It wouldn't be bad to have uh, Shield Bash, but I don't have a big enough shield, so maybe not that one. Uh, maybe I can just do Kick. Oh, and Mythic Apple Sauce, welcome, welcome. Oh, uh, Caliber, you did your lurk wrong. You're supposed to do the exclamation point. Yeah, just so you know. Get ID scroll. Lovely. Just what I want to see. Crap, 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 crap. All right, that wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. I just thought that he was going to step to me, but then I forgot there was an uh, enemy nearby. Oh my god, of course! It's only got three days on the contract and there's two floors! We gotta take this guy out. Wherever he is. Dead end. What about this side? Spear boy. Oh yeah, I have a kick. That works. Um, gonna try to rely more on uh resting than anything else. I 
Here goes nothing. So dumb. I was trying to avoid healing, and that wasn't really working out well for us, was it? I really don't want to go back to town. I'm avoiding it, like the plague. Oh yeah, Sanity's gonna be gone. Man, the bleeds, bro. I'm gonna try to go through this whole thing in combat without taking care of that bleed. Okay, whew. This ain't good. <laughs> this ain't good, chat. This is ridiculous. There's so many enemies. We're bleeding again. Okay, okay, so we got props, right? Got big props. Um, first and foremost, we have three days to do this. Second of all, we're out of healing supplies and I don't want to waste any of the crap that I have currently. Um, yeah, this sucks. Sucks big time, bro. I didn't ever put my cape on, which I don't know. I don't think that's going to make a difference. A battle axe? That's pretty dope. I'm gonna take that with me. We need to get out of here. Um, and judging by the distance, doesn't matter if we go back to Manshire or Bryn. Um, yeah, not not good, guys. Not good. Definitely underestimated this dungeon. That Paragoric's gonna run out, and we're gonna have no sanity. Which might not be that bad. We already know how to manage, um, like, sadism buffs. Get out of here. Uh, where's my... There it is. Boarding axe. Flanged mace. Be organized. A brigand blade, footman mace, battle axe. Is sadism wrecked you the other day? I had better luck with sadism than I did with masochism. Sadism sucks when it shows up at the wrong time. And what I mean by that is if it shows up when you already have a low amount of energy, you're like, what the fuck do I do? 
if you don't have any energy drain uh passive skills or anything like that yeah it, it can be a uh, pain in the ass for sure mother fucker i gotta take him on Okay, well, he's dead. That's God. It's quiet. Not bad. Just keep going. All we're doing is trying to get back to Manshire. We can rest. That's it. Get across the water, please. 90 some odd turns left yet. I think 60 turns will allow me to get past this. If we if we uh, encounter somebody, we're dead. If we encounter somebody, we're dead. We're almost there. Crying out loud. Come on. We're in safety. Safety zones. Come on, you can make it! Sanity's falling fast! Oh my god! Oh my god, we're passing out! Oh my god, this is so annoying! Oh my goodness. Should've brought some uh, antitoxins I didn't think about. That's the wrong place. Where's the where's the in at? Yep, we're down to 48%, but if we sleep this off, we're gonna be good. Uh until 10. Cool. So we're good. Now there's probably two days left. Two days, chat. Two days. Oh my goodness, okay. They're back again, shit! Trash! Go away. Uh, bots really want to know it. Yeah, no kidding. Uh... The crazy thing is we're probably gonna level up to level 11 before we're done with this dungeon. It's filled with enemies! I need everything you got, son. I need all your freaking bandages. Oh my goodness, I have to... <laughs> I'll be back. Let me sell my items. What's the boarding axe look like? 22, accuracy counter and block versus ours. Ours is still good because it's got the life drain, but that's not bad. Battle axe, bit off. ID scroll. Okay. Okay. Pop back in here. Three, one, two, one, two, three. Uh, actually, I probably don't even need these. I don't have any drugs to take. What I leave behind, chat, uh, in terms of uh, uh, potions. Potion of stone skin? Fuck it, let's take it. What's Alquid do? Maximum energy? Oh, I'll just leave that behind. Um, alcohol. Who sells alcohol? You? I'll take your alcohol. Take two of those. Then we need a bunch of food. It's cheap. It's filling. That's all we care about. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, time we get done with this part, I have like, like less than a day to turn it in. Oh, I didn't repair my gear. Let me do that. Let me do that. I'm sorry. I apologize. Oh, yeah. They were tearing me up. Oh, my God. 69 out of 120? Do I have enough cash? I did. I had enough cash. Wow. Ridiculous. Oh, it's ridiculous.
Yeah, I guess we can go all the way down like this. We'll go to the same path we took last time. So our sanity isn't below 50%. This shouldn't go across the river again. Okay. Then straight down. Cool. We're here. We're back. No, not abilities. Two days. Okay. So it says two days. That's good. Whew. All right, now we gotta go immediately downstairs. Now, I don't really have very many ways of offsetting pain outside of drugs and herbal extracts. So no more paragoric. Um, we're gonna go this way this time. Man, I laugh. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. I'm gonna see if this guy gets a little bit closer. Uh, he might just hang out over there the whole day. Yeah, he's gonna hang out there the whole time. Um, okay. Just gotta rush him. Nothing I can do about it. Alright, we're in pain. No worries. Take care of it. Take a little drink. Rest. There's a question mark right below us, maybe? No. So either north or south. Uh, I'm gonna go north first. See if this is the boss. Not the boss. Bring them to me though. Come to me, please. Oh my god, I forgot that rat was right there, dude. I could have screwed myself over. That would have been really bad. I don't know what it is about these undead dungeons, but they make my guys so hungry. Alright, skeleton. Okay, dead. Moving on, it should be the south room. It's probably gonna be the boss. Which if that's the case, he's kind of close. All right, so that's got a tile of six and tile of six. So from here, that's, that's far enough away. I gotta get him away though. He's gonna get resurrected probably at least once, probably twice. Okay. Fucking bitch. So far, so good, chat. 
Those are on a 10 and 12 round cooldown. He's got two stacks. We're in pain. Forty-five. 11%. He's down to 27. Let's go. We did it. That was scary. Grab that. Take some more alcohol. Eat. I still didn't drop my backpack. Oh well. ID scroll? May as well. This one is 17-2 with crit efficiency. If we were a battle mage, that wouldn't be too bad to have. Um uh, monk staff. How much does that sell for? 17,000 gold? What? That's crazy. Oh, Frickin' sell it. Oh. Yeah, I think we're gonna offload some of these items outside the dungeon. For real. Nice. Let's go ahead and open our backpack up. Move these over, maybe. Oops. Yeah, throw that away. Right, what do we have? Spears, battle axes, spear, spear. And then whatever is inside of this chest. Oh, a chain belt for block and block. Our recovery versus our counter and health. All right, so the basement should be fully explored outside of whatever south of us. Just making sure. So yeah, we have these with the grab up and that rider shield. We'll come back down later. Still no ghosts. Not a bad axe. This was a disenchanting scroll. A war crossbow, doesn't matter because we have a cursed weapon. Gotta keep going.
All right, let's find out what's behind this door. There's three. Oh boy. Four enemies. The amount of enemies we gotta fight back to back is ridiculous! These skeletons came packing though, they got battle axes, they got uh, flange maces. All those are really, really good. Especially this stage in the game, we would love to have that. Footman sword. I don't know what our bleed res is, but it's absolutely terrible. Another one? There's still like a few more rooms here. This is crazy. What level am I? Okay, I think we can probably get out of here before we're hitting level 11. Oh my god, the bleed. more bandages left. Now my level. Oh, uh, that I can handle. Oh my god, bro. So stupid. Alright, I gotta I gotta find out. Like <laughs> the bleed has been so bad. 16% bleed res apparently. It's not enough. Take that take that. You're the last one. Don't make me bleed. And no ghosts. All right, finally, we're finished with this dungeon chat. A lot harder than it had to be, that's for sure. So, hmm. 
Let me offload a few items, mainly the healing supplies. I'll offload that smoke bomb too. Come back in here. I want to try to grab up the two... The, um... The, the two staves. Eat. Healing supplies. There's not very many left anyway. Organize. Smoke bomb. Probably offload one of those. Open this up. I can make this work. Alright, cool. Let's head back inside. I'm not going to dig up the graves. Gonna pass on that this time around. Open sword. Albert. Oh, you know what? Another thing. Let me offload uh, my shield so I can grab that other shield. Just so I can have it offloaded. Granted, probably won't use it. I see flange maze, footman maze, heater shields, flange. That's going. Hell, this rate, that negative two fumble, this ring here is looking a lot better. Add a little bit more bleed resistance versus negative two fumble. All right, so the exquisite staff's coming home with me. That staff's coming home with me. The rider's shield, put it up. That's basically it. I could probably take one more weapon, like a battle axe or something. It's pretty decent condition. I'm gonna use the disenchanting scroll on this uh, monk staff. Let's see here, where was that disenchanting scroll? Right there. There we go. Worth 486. Not that much. But if we sell it to a carpenter, it'd be good. Awesome. Again, I don't know what to do with this, with this shield. When compared to my buckler. The rider shield's got 15. The dodge is minus four. Block is higher. Block power is higher. Block power recovery is lower. And you lose the counter chance. I'll take it. I'll take that. We'll leave the monk staff behind. I want to try to avoid enemies as well. I don't want to fight nobody else. That way we can make it to the troll. <laughs> and actually still be level 10. Uh, while I'm down here, since I'm heading back up to, uh, to Manshire, I got to buy the um, Shield Treaties 2 buck. I think that was the last one we really needed. Unlock this. That unlocks with vitality naturally. That one unlocks with vitality naturally. Oh yeah, we're gonna be fine. Oh, and this one here, I gotta buy that too because it's strength, agility, perception. It's gonna buy two bucks. There you go, chat. We're all the way. We're back at home. We didn't waste any Gwinnels. Had to use a couple VVs.
And that dungeon took us two trips. Now battle axes are rough because of the additional fumble chance. They hit so sick, so goddamn hard. I didn't even use the stone skin like I was supposed to. I keep doing that. Why even break them at this point? D-scrolls. Paragoric. May as well turn the quest in right away. Got my reward? I'm gonna take both of these with me, uh, both purses. So, with that being turned in, now we just gotta make our way over to the to the to the, to the troll, take him out. Uh, we're gonna take that. I'm taking this to the troll. We're gonna we're gonna knock him out as quickly as possible. The potion of rage. I'm pretty sure I dropped one of these on the ground somewhere. So what we'll do, just in case I'll offload that. Pop down here to get my gear repaired and sell everything else off. And sell, sell, and sell. Look at all that money. Sell that too. Right? There's nothing else here. I got two books to sell. The dungeon was worth it, though. It's as difficult as it was for us to complete it. I mean, you gotta, you guys gotta admit, it is a good thing we're getting a lot of cash if we're going full heavy. Because shields are expensive and heavy armor is like just insanely expensive. Oh, right. I gotta get that repaired. I don't want to use the buckler and the troll. I think we'll be better off using this. Uh, let's see. What are you selling? Now, before we head back to Mancha, let me offload a couple of items. So I don't need this much uh, money on me. Offload, offload. And we'll head back to Mancha. Cool. Uh, let me change the name of the stream to Fighting the Troll. All right, so, uh, Troll.
You just can't type. There we go. Belmer Axe the Shield. Update. Okay, so we have the two battle axes. Or no, we have a battle axe and a boarding axe here. All of these ads are going to come back to us. Well, we're, so we're going to take all these ads back with us. Um, I'm going to offload that. Grab an enchanting scroll. Amber amulet. Uh, again, it's like not going to be a big issue. Uh, with this amber amulet, we're not going to drop our weapons as often. I don't know why I took those with me. That will put us at 42 to 15 percent. We're still going to drop it, just not quite as often. Before I rest. Now, I don't have to talk to this guy, right? Like, that's not a prerequisite. I should just be able to go to the governor and then ask him about it, right? Like, directly? I do believe that's a thing. Rumor hat. Yeah, okay, cool. So I don't have to talk to the elder every single time. All right, fantastic. Why'd I replay? Oh my god, I'm dumb as hell. <laughs> so stupid. I was trying to repair something, and I was like, oh yeah, this thing is. I need. <sighs> How much did I waste just now? A bunch of cash, I guarantee it. Just to sell it for 592. <laughs> so stupid. I'm dumb. <laughs> I, it, was <laughs> it was just available. I don't know. God dang it. Oh well, it's fine. We have plenty of cash, I guess. It's just so stupid. All right, so we have alcohol, we have rage, potions. I need healing supplies. Got my T scrolls. Uh, splint, possibly one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe a couple of these. We bleed a lot. Uh, don't need that many. And. That should about do it. I didn't grab a smoke bomb. I don't have one. I should have brought that fucking smoke bomb with me. Oh well, chat. I guess we're going to take the very first boulder right in the face. So be it. Let's get out of here. Also, I'm not going to need this backpack on me. Let me offload it real quick. After taking my cape. Oh my god, I'm so bad. That's better. All right, now we can head out. I don't imagine the troll being much of an issue. A couple more map tiles to go. I am looking forward to keeping that uh, the ear guards on though. And a brand new cape. It's gonna help us complete the remaining, uh, the re remaining dungeons for 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 Bryn.
Gotta go down an angle this time. Let's dig this up. All right, here we are, chat. We made it. As we always do, we got to say hello to the old, uh, the old YouTube. Uh, I think I need to eat a little bit more. Eat the carp. I'm good there. All right, cool. <clears throat> What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today is another troll fight. This time around, we're doing a full vitality axe in shield build. Um, as always, we always got our uh, amber amulets for our fortitude, help us drop our weapon a lot less. In this case, we only have to worry about dropping the shields. We already have a cursed item. You'll never get your uh, weapon dropped when it is cursed, which is great to see. Um, otherwise, pretty straightforward, pretty standard build. No body part, no armor damage, just because we're going full vitality here. Accuracy is 87 and a half. Crit chance is two, or sorry, seven percent. Counter is six and a half. Fumble at 15. Scrolling on down, bleed, and we do have life drain because that is what our cursed weapon came with. Gotta love it. Moving down, we have plenty of energy restoration at the moment because we will be building this character into heavy armor and a heavy shield eventually um fortitude is 20 so i do and i'm assuming we're going to be dropping again our weapon i think you need 25 percent baseline uh we haven't tested 20 percent before though so if we drop our weapon on 20 percent we'll know 100 percent that 25 is what we need uh bleed control and movement resistance hunger resistance 72 percent why is that a, why, I'm so why is that 72%? This, what? That's confusing. <laughs> That's confusing. Uh, physical resistance, you get the idea. Uh, as far as the build's concerned, heading down into axes, we have five points. Um, so the, the very top row and then into massacre. Shields, we went these two. We will eventually grab up shield bash as well as retaliation. But yeah, not yet, not yet. Um, next up would be into athletics. I'm gonna grab these two up. So kick a uh, mighty kick as well as push the falling. And then as far as armored combat's concerned, we got brace for impact, hard targets, and unyielded defense. Um, another one we're gonna be grabbing up prior to get into the Manticore fight will be custom adjustments because again, heavy armor. That's it. That is the build. Uh, looking at our character inventory. We got the cursed handy bearded axe with negative fumble and magical power. We don't have anything with magic, so it's silly. Um, we, we kept it for the life drain though. Halberd's not enchanted. Gloves are not enchanted. The ring and the these two rings are not enchanted. Hell, the amber amulet's not enchanted, and which is silly. I have like six enchantment scrolls. I just haven't used them. Uh, traveling cape with uh, rending resistance. The healing war hats with a health restoration and energy restoration. A chain belt, because eh, why not? Soldier's boots as well as the rider's shield. That's basically all we're looking at. We have healing supplies. We should be good. This should be an easy fight. Not really worried about it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, good day, you two. Pretty sure Lazy had 30% and dropped as well. He, he should not have dropped as a, at, at 30%. I've already tested at 35, I tested at 30, and I've tested it at 25 and haven't dropped my weapons. And I had no cursed items. If he had a uh, 30%, it's possible he had that because of whatever, um, what's that one buff that you get that gives you fortitude? It's the one with the, the green happy face. And maybe that he had, he had that buff bringing him up to 30%, but then when it goes away, you're down to 20, would be my guess. Now we're gonna be taking the first boulder straight on our noggin. 
Considering I screwed up and did not bring any smoke bombs. Another thing I gotta do just for the YouTube purposes. Wait, no. I gotta get a screenshot anyway, so. Hey guys, what's up? I don't know. Something like that. So that way the wife doesn't have to edit so much uh, for the screenshot. <laughs> block it with six? Yeah, do, do, do the block. Oh, we don't have the block. Boom, baby. Didn't even have to worry about it. All right, from here, he's going to scream. No worries. And now we're just going to move away. I'm just going to focus on his armor first. Once that armor's down to nothing, then we'll start really wailing on him. I go down at an angle. One, two. I will have to go here to avoid. Hmm, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But if I can go here, I can go over there. That That would help me. So here and then there. Oh, I lied. I lied. I completely lied on where I was supposed to be. It's fine. He'll break this for us. He missed. He's trash. 80%. What? This is the one that does uh, body part damage. That's what does body part damage. Yeah, this is the body part damage one. Still haven't dropped our weapon. I was worried about that. That's my bad. That was my bad. I was trying to think a couple steps ahead. Wasn't going to work. But we have life drain. So all in all, it doesn't matter. Just got to heal. Off the step. There we go. Just want to clear this uh this arena up a wee bit. Two more turns. One, two, buckle my shit. Fifty-four percent left. Did he yell at us. Still doing good, chat. I think with curse weapons, it's impossible to drop at all. Be interesting to see if you drop the shield. That's what I was saying. That's what I was uh, concerned about was the shield. Not not the curse weapon. The curse weapon I already know you can't drop. So I already know we can't drop this. This is the one I was I was worried about. If I drop it, awesome. I mean, I know at least then that 20% you can drop your stuff still. But regardless, if this causes the shield not to drop at all, Dude, that'd be one hell of a weird glitch you could do. So far, so good, though. Uh, I just duplicated my doublets while digging up a grave? What do you mean, duplicated? Do you already have a doublet on? Because you can get doublets from graves. Oh, what? Wait, what? I think I mistyped or miscounted there.
All right, thirty-two percent armor left. Uh, he's gonna scream next round. I wanna move here. Stunned. 83, 24. 20%. One. Oh, he's gonna scream. One, two. No worries. 16% and 80. I dug over grave and the same turn I opened the grave. I doublet dropped on the ground and my doublet equipped. What? The doublet dropped on the ground. My doublet equipped has the exact same durability as the one I dropped. What? That's ridiculous. All right, we're down to 10% durability for his armor. I'm gonna try this. Okay. 6%, one. Wait. 1%. He's down to 75% HP. Okay, so we have this one for the unyielding defense for the body body part. Had to get that free hit off. Should we do it again? We have the unyielding defense. We have three stacks of massacre. Just gonna do it. It's fine, chat. We'll heal the next time we get. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Twenty percent. It's not enough. Uh, which makes sense. So, for those of you that were like curious, they somehow like I don't know when the, what patch it was. They 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 put inside of the tooltip that the chance to drop your weapon was reduced by the target's fortitude. Uh, it's a 25% chance to drop your weapon. So 25% fortitude and you'll never drop. Oh, it says 35% chance to cause them to drop a weapon. I thought it was 25. Either way, what the fuck? Either way, I've never dropped my weapon at 35%, 30%. Or 25%. 35% chance? I, I swear to God that said like 25 the last time I checked it. Interesting. Whatever. Uh, one more turn. Um, pain. I mean, I, I'll, I'll, I'll we'll just do damage. There's going to be out, plenty of opportunities for me to, you know, whack them. I have to skip this turn. So down two, one, two. One turn. She's gonna yell at me. Down, down. One, two. Shit, I fucked up. Oh my God, I messed up. A 
It's okay. It's okay. I just wanted my shield on for a minute. Not like I need the shield. We just want the shield. Sixty-one percent. This is gonna take a little bit longer than normal. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> oh man, I would have been so mad if I had to waste another turn. Okay. Heal. Mother trucker, we counterattacked? That's good. That's a good crit. I'm kind of messing up here, chat. Right, he's going to scream at us next. All right, we didn't lose anything. What I'm thinking, though, at this stage in the game, let's go ahead and pop. Once drunkenness is gone, we're going to pop Potion of Rage. Um, I'm going to go ahead and eat. What do we got? Nine more turns. One, two. Five more turns. One, two. Two more turns. He is going to yell. We didn't lose anything for it. 60 turns. Down. One, two. Back up. Okay, it's fine. Crit. Should I keep going? Thirty six. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. He's still not injured, though. I know, we're bleeding. Take care of that right now. He's still not injured. Good crit. Just where's your body part damage at, bro? I screwed that one up, chat. He's going to get a free heal off. It's okay. For now, good crit. Let's go. Let's fuck go. No! 
Bro, just die! You have three percent left. Oh my god! Two percent left. <laughs> oh. Chat, I bet you guys are like on the, on the edge of your seats like, this guy's gonna fucking die. <laughs> we ain't dying today, boys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't have miss. Oh. Goodness. Okay, we're good though. Got a little scared, but I'm all, I'm all good. <laughs> Equipped. Another smoke bomb, nice. Read. Ah, that's, that's that was fun. That was fun. Um, another point. Ah, main ugh, custom adjustments right now, or do we do it later? I gotta buy the shield book, so I can go pick that up, and then we'll be able to use shield bash. All right, I'm gonna turn my speed hacks back on. Four X speed, make us get back to town quicker. Thanks for the GG. I would wait. What's that? Oh, I was about half. Free money. Uh, was the grave full of stuff? He was about half full. I would love to clip it, but the metal doesn't like stone shard. The metal, a metal doesn't like stone shard. I don't know what metal. We mean metal. That was fun. That was, uh, like I said, I was so, um, I'm glad we were trying to do it toe to toe because I was tired of like, I was tired of him just walking away from us or like was walking away from him constantly and doing the little dance. No, oh, we too strong for this. Ah, oh, camp. Bad guys, what you gonna, what you gonna do when the bad guy comes for you? Bad guys, what you gonna, what you gonna do? Bad guy come for you. Where you going, bad guy? Barrels are empty. These encampments should have water in them. We almost got attacked by a snake, chat. Are you snake? Oh, you got away from us. You're lucky, son. A metal is a clipping stop. Oh, is it? Huh? Like just for clipping? Nothing else? I mean, you could technically save the last five minutes with uh, Nvidia software too. Though half the time, like I think about doing that. I don't have NVIDIA enabled until you hit Alt-Z or whatever. And then it's like, oh, you want to do stuff? Too bad. Anything that you were thinking about doing five minutes prior to this, it's gone. So, yeah. That happens. All right, so backpack, slap it on. Uh, toss that away. Potion of Stone Skin, Owl Quid. The Enchanting Scrolls, we already talked about it. Let's just go ahead and use them. Unholy Resistance. And health restoration. Grab the other two. I do need to sell stuff. Oh, and what did I swap this one out for? Hunters of the Fang Amulet? We have life drain, health restoration, and more health. 140, god dang! Tanky boy! That fumbles down to 15. Wait. Fumbles down to 12 with this amulet on. And accuracy is up to 90 base. We lose a little bit of crit. Rending and some physical res. I think it's kind of worth it. Be organized. Don't quite have enough room here. There we go. That should give us enough room. 
Pop in here, talk to the governor. Ah, oh, about that crone tract. It's dead, son. Um, I'm worried that if we head back down to Bryn, we're going to have to face the human contract. And I don't want to face the humans. So we're going to have to figure that one out. Let me rest up momentarily so I can at least sell off a couple of things. Just until six. Okay, so sell that. So. So I'm gonna sell it to the car uh, to the blacksmith instead. What was in the backpack again? It's the cape. Oh yeah, the cape gets sold. Two thirty four. Okay, now we're going to reorganize. Also, I dropped my lock picks, didn't I? Or at least one of them. Yeah, I grab a secondary one. I guess we may as well head back to uh, back to Bryn first. Sell these books off. Uh, you have to sell nothing. We're gonna check, right? Just in case the um, the contract is now gonna be proselytes again, but I highly doubt it. I mean, it's not like we're going to struggle, I don't think. We have a lot of defensive measures. We have a shield. Sure, he read all these books first before you sell them. And uh, we already talked about we need shields too. Go ahead and read. So, next skill point is going to be for shield bash. Oh, we need one more, one more. Uh, athletics too. I think it was. Double check. Yeah, for kick the fall. Okay. Uh, athletics too. This one? All right, we'll talk to Bird, see what contracts up. You know, if we prepare well enough, we might be able to handle this without a problem. As Captain of the Deserters. Aragor, a couple smoke bombs. Toss my enchanting scrolls away. Uh, we have the Potion of Stone Skin still. But if we use the Paragoric for... Uh,
We'll just keep the potion of stone skin. I want to try this. Potion of fragility? Frailness, whatever. Yeah, fragility. It's potion of fragility. I'm going to use that on the boss. We'll need another vivifying essence. Toss that away. My gear is fully repaired. We'll grab up a spider blood flask. And then heal more healing supplies, and we should be good to go. Oh, my watch is dead. Who's down here? Army? I don't know if I'm going to use that, but I figured, what the hell, pick it up. I might not make it back to the uh, the healing guy. Walk fast. Got this. Pain man. All right. So all we need is food. Claw trap, net. I'll somehow figure out how to carry all this. Okay, two, two areas for food. Okay, I think we got this. Let me rest up. Watch it switches over to the uh, proselytes. Uh, we want... Lentil soup. Go ahead and eat. We want... More food. Actually, fuck. Do I want that many? It is a human dungeon. We should be fine. All right, burn. Work, Captain of the Deserters. How many days? Give me four days for crying out loud. Three, three, three days. <laughs> so stupid. These dungeons are so hard, bro. And you're gonna give me three days to complete it. So sad. Now we obviously know the hardest enemies inside of here, outside of the boss enemy, especially if it's the two-handed mace dude. That guy is gonna wreck our lives. Um, but outside of him, we got to deal with the mages. So. Hopefully the mages aren't too bad, and there's not too many of them.
Uh, mages do so much damage. They are, they do. They're ridiculous. It's just, I hate, I hate dealing with them. I think we all do, though. Now we're just outside of the dungeon. Speak of the devil! I'm gonna pull him far, far away. Actually, there's a lot of enemies nearby, so what we're gonna do is screw his life over by coming all the way down here. He'll be five tiles away from us. Right? So all we have to do now is do this. Do that mother trucker. It's okay. We're not we're not on fire, but he's gonna come with us. Lovely when it's raining outside. That's what we like to see. Alright, first guy down. If he was an electromancer, it would have been a little more of a struggle, I'm sure. Now, here's the thing that I've always been concerned about. So this one applies them with less control res, and then this one slaps them. So, I like to do the kick first, followed by number nine. Did nothing. He blocked everything. Ridiculous, bro. And I'm already in pain. Uh, speak of the devil. He does have like, oh my god, the what's your backfire chance at? 50%? Try me, bro. He made me bleed with a counter attack. I think he's too afraid to use any spells because he knows he's got stacks of wetness on. What do you guys think? He scared? I think he's scared, dog. Dude, you scared, bro. Where's your why you why ain't you count why ain't you? Are you doing damage to yourself? Huh? How the fuck are you not backfired? Explain that to me. Well good. I already used the vivifying. You replaced it. Thank you. What is going on here? <laughs> I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, I'm in pain. Do I have any alcohol with me? Okay. Well, apparently I didn't bring any alcohol, chat. So, there's that. Clonk! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I am, uh, pro pro propulsed? What? Uh, do you like to dip into magic mastery to help with mages? On occasion. Take it to spation. I mean, yeah, yeah, on occasion. Uh, right now, we don't have it in the- it's not in the- it's not in the books, right? Um, we we are. I probably could have took that as opposed to something else, but I, I usually make my builds um, based on if we can go to the Manticore or not. I'm just talking about Seal of Reflection, and then it makes you it, it makes it pretty fun or pretty funny. Started using that one, yeah. Engaged. I am engaged, Doc Mo. Okay, I got you. <laughs> All right. Well, another vivifying. Okay, that's we might need that. We might need that. Alright. Essentially what I'm looking for is I need food, because we are going to be hungry. 
So far, there's nothing here. There's not gonna be any food in here. What's that? Candy's gone. Oh, actually. Um, put that there and use this. Rending resistance. It's not gonna help me in this dungeon. I don't think anybody here does rending. Good job. Ain't nobody gonna come to you, bro. Stop. Oh my god, regroup is ridiculous, dude. I hate it so much. Why can't I move? Why can't I move? Why can't I move? I clicked three times already. This is fucking ridiculous. Come on, bro. Regroup should be gone by now. We're fucking dead. I don't know what to do. Should I, should I heal? Do I heal? Do I heal? This guy hasn't done shit yet. Mother... Bro... This guy's ridiculous! Regroup is ridiculous, man. Holy cow. It's the worst. I couldn't move either. I was trying to leave, but like I clicked here and my guy wouldn't leave. He was just standing in place. I wasn't even immobilized. Wasted three turns there. That's crazy, dude. That is fucking tough, man. What? Uh, an archer? That's okay. I want to avoid taking and necessarily, you know, getting knocked away in oh, into the wall there. Okay, he's going to wind up. We definitely need a better shield to take a uh, better advantage of shield bash. Don't you run away from me, my guy. Oh, look who it is, senior dickhead! Back again, chat. Oh my god, he's dead this time. At least he didn't regroup. The moment they cast regroup, we're done. Ah, oh, there's some food. Fantastic. We are gonna need some more. I'm praying for one floor. This place is toxic. I don't want to be here any longer. We're gonna try to kick him. Didn't work. Shield bash, that did. No worries, all good. Swordman. Same idea, get down here. Killing chamber. I already made his bleed. Let's try to kick. Follow up with a shield bash. You think you're going to take like two more hits and then they continually take damage and still stay alive. Fantastic. More fun stuff.
Okay. Oh, he's he's bleeding. He's bleeding, chat. Fuck. Now it's this guy. Kick didn't work. That one did. Nicely done. We are in pain again, but nothing I can do about it. Well, I never mind. Never mind. I can. I can. Okay. Not the boss chamber. Bobbery. It's this guy again. Look. My favorite guy. It's back again. Made me bleed cuz why wouldn't he? There we go. We're gonna rest this one off. I'm not using any more healing supplies. If I can help it. Take a rag, just in case we need to heal our bleeds. This guy! Again! What do I do, chat? What do I do? <laughs> What do I do? There we go. Okay, good deal, good deal, good deal. Still not the boss room. Food? That's good, we'll use that. More food? Okay. Get a little drink, a little sippy sip. Not terrible, not terrible. Nicely done. Moving on. Where's the boss at, chat? Over here, maybe? It's gonna have two floors. Who am I kidding? Oh, boss room. Nana, 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 boss room. Boss room. Nana, 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 bow, bow. Bow, bow. Okay. Okay. Um, this is good. This is really good to see, chat. Really good to see. Good stuff. So, smoke bombs, spider blood flask, potion of fragility. Now, these ones have five tiles, right? Is it five tiles? Like, so one, two, three, four, five, or is it like this is where the smoke bomb and then it goes one, two, three, four, five? Like, what is it? Oh, well, that's fun. That's. Absolutely the funnest thing I've seen so far. Great. Who's in here? Okay. Oh, okay. I don't know the best way to do this. Like, do they come to me? Are they going to come to me? Well, what's the what's the deal here? Oh, no. Still not great though. Still not great though. Still not great though. I'm on fire, chat! Fucking on fire! Oh, he, he's easy to. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
It's okay, chat. We fixed it. Oh, we fixed it. We did it. These mages, they ain't got nothing on us, man. Hell yeah, I'm hungry, though. Um... Do we smoke them? Do we stone skin and then smoke them? At six turns. Let's throw some smoke. Should we should we just should we just dive in? We're diving in, baby. Head first. We don't even care. You want to zap me? Not today, son. I can't even hit you for some reason. You're dead. Let's go. She got intense. That was damn near my last two healing salves. <laughs> we did it. We wasted the Gwynels. But we alive, we we <laughs> Oh my goodness, chat. I'll take everything. Alright, what what haven't we looted? First, extra staff. Drop that trash. Drop that trash. Reorganize. Looted, looted, footmans, looted. Iron ingot. I'll grab an iron ingot up. We're gonna have to eat so many vegetables. We're down to 20% immunity. Tied gloves. All these were looted, right? How much is that worth? Garbage. How about the long flails? How much are those worth? Spike flail is uh, 822. Not too shabby. That's the long. The long one's crappy. Long flail again. Bearded axe. Crap. Fantastic. We're basically done here. Throwing net. Take that back with me. There wasn't else anything else in the bookshelves, right? No. Geo treaties. Let's get rid of this. Take the geo treaty instead. Oh, there was a tomato. I can eat that. Ooh, we did it. We didn't even have to go back to town. Like we did it all in one run. How do you speed run to troll, bro? How did I speed run it? Oh, sorry. Let me change the title. Yeah, we, we killed him like, I don't know, over 45 minutes to an hour ago. Uh, Troll dead. Velmir axe and shield. There we go. Updates. Uh, but otherwise, Delta, welcome back. How you doing, man? No, for real. Over a week right now, I am engaged. Oh, engaged! Oh, I get you. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I was like, I was like, yeah, you're engaged with the audience. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. No, you're engaged. Well, happy, happy engagement, bro. Good job to you. You, you guys already have like a wedding date or like what's going on there? Are you still kind of planning out the uh, the specifics? Oh, uh, chat! It's almost one o'clock. I would love to continue streaming, but I always have YouTube content to edit up, so I will have to dip. Um, if I had more time to do this, I would love to stream longer. But you know how it is. Life happens, right? We are going to turn this contract in and probably just do a couple little errands. Got my reward. Infested catacombs reset. Let's go. 
So that means at the very start of next stream, when we knock out that last contract, we will be at Amity. And then it's all about purchasing brand new gear. Super exciting. I left my fucking backpack back there. That sucks. Oh well. No use crying about it now. We need we got one book, right? Yeah, only one book. Okay. Um uh, and look at your wares, please. I want to sell. So sell, so keep the I already got one of those. Sell, so sell, sell that. So Then we want to go and get some bunch of veggies, bro. Like, we need to eat. I doubt I'm gonna have enough money to repair my gear either. Fifty-five percent. We're gonna have to do that a couple more times. My biggest fear is forgetting my backpack. <laughs> It happens all the time to me. It's no longer a fear. It's just expected. It's the same thing if I have my backpack and a cloak. It's just expected that I probably won't take the backpack off. And then if I do take the backpack off, it's probably going to be expected that I forget. <laughs> so bad. You can always buy it again. It's just like a wasted amount of money. Uh, the one dude, uh, you bribe him. I think he can sell it for like 300 gold or so. Could be wrong about that number, but it's got to be pretty close. Um, let's see. How much is this going to cost me? Okay, that wasn't so bad. I was expecting a lot worse. I guess uh, repair my shield next. Oh, wait. These guys can't repair shields, can they? It's the guy below me. Uh, this guy. Need something repaired. Oh, well, there we go, chat. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I think we'll uh, go up to this inn up here. We'll rest there. I know it's going to take like 50 gold to rest, but it puts us right where we need to be for tomorrow. So I can talk to the guy, get some more healing supplies. Oh, and also frailness. I didn't use it, but we also didn't necessarily need to use it because we were facing a mage. So why make the mage even more frail? Doesn't really make sense, does it? And I'm just gonna rest until six. Immunity. Again, we gotta buy some more, but otherwise we're good to go. Fantastic stuff. Um, cool. Let me look online, see who is raidable. And then I will catch y'all tomorrow. Same time as usual, 6.30 in the morning. Yes, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, Twitch. We're gonna go back, back, forward. Lazy's playing some Red Dead. Goons and Legends. What the hell is Quest playing? New Nexus. Ma, mute that. I don't know who to who to who to raid here. I'll ask you guys who you guys think. Uh, how's the build, by the way? So far, so good. Oh, sorry. Welcome back. So far, so good. Um, we had a little bit of a struggle with the undead. And we had a little bit of a struggle with the uh, the human dungeon. Primarily the fucking spearmans, bro. The spear dudes, the moment they use regroup, it's like game over with, man. We almost died. I hadn't used my Gwinnels. Abaddon, take care of you. Yeah, I guess it's better than forgetting your cape. Yeah, it's true. Um, goon oh, it's not. That's not for me. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go there. It's it's freaking playing uh, hockey. Um, so I guess between TM Toady and Lazy, who do you guys want to watch? You want to watch Lazy play Red Dead or TM Toady play Millennia? I'll give you guys a chance to kind of weigh in on this. 
I need to eat that regardless. That's gonna be sold. Okay. Good stream. Thanks, Flamius. We did a pretty good job, man. We're alive and well. That's really a, that's a good stream in my book. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll catch you later, Flamius. Who do you guys want to watch? Want to watch Lazy doing some, uh, you know, I, I kind of want to watch some, some Red Dead. I'm okay with that. Let's do some Red Dead Redemption. Um, where's my, where's my, there it is. Rating purposes. Slash raid. Lazy low place. That should be the one. And then enter. Cool. All right, y'all. Again, take care. Appreciate everyone being here today. Some of the newer viewers popping on in. Thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, it means a lot to me. Super, a lot of fun hanging out y'all today. As it is every day. But uh, y'all take care. We're going to hit raid now. Uh, again, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.